did. I think the mic was muted. Yeah, my mic was muted. Weird. Okay, I still can't hear you guys. Yeah, you guys I still can't hear. Okay, so I figured out the mystery of mine, so... Let's see... Try that. Let's see. Meanwhile, I get to keep troubleshooting everything else. Uh, party settings. Let's try that. No. No. Uh, voice chat settings. Videos pause. Don't worry. The stream's still happening. We will. We'll find this out. Mute game voice and the turn on your voice. <clears throat> Hello. Hello. Still working on it. Your voice won't be heard in the voice of other players. Uh, I uh, try speaking. Okay, I can hear you, but you're very quiet. <laughs> See if you can... Why doesn't PlayStation have, like, a boost audio thing? Ah, oh, this is what I, I... I missed this, and by I missed this, I mean I didn't miss this. I didn't miss streaming directly from PlayStation. Uh, what options does, you know, let me hop onto the PlayStation app on my phone and see if there's like anything I can see. Okay. I'm, I'm troubleshooting. Yep, this is, this is what I missed. Let's see, we need something wrong. No. We, we've done this before. Did it do some uh, similar stuff to this as well? That is so dumb. It's, I I hate Sony. Your app sucks. I'm sorry. I mean, the bright side, you can be heard. That is the positive. <laughs> we will get everything figured out. Well, we'll find out. Hey guys, it's me, Video Game Donkey Clone. Oh my god. <laughs> right, is our audio audible now? Yes. Okay, so, which one of you motherfuckers wasn't gonna tell me that Buca de Beppo is an actual restaurant and not just some made-up Italian slur? <laughs> I legit thought that Buca de Beppo was just like some shit that somebody made made up to like be offensive to Italians. And like now I learn it's a real restaurant. There's an actual place you can go to called Buca de Beppo. It's 
<laughs> now, Ty, remember when I said I'm gonna say this thing and it's gonna make Ben lose his shit? Was that it? That was it! <laughs> Now that, you have to that... understand, if I've never seen a brick-and-mortar sign that says Buka de Beppo, and I hear somebody say Buka de Beppo, I'm going to be like, oh, that's how the Mario Brothers talk in Superstar Saga. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, welcome to Five Nights at Freddy's, everyone. A movie came out two days ago. Was this the bite of 87? We'll find out, I guess. Super horror, 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 horror. Hey, that's what Freddy said. That's what Freddy said when he saw his wife sleep on Foxy. <laughs> I really like the part of the movie where uh, Markiplier was all like, "I'm Markiplier and I'm at Puka de Beppo, which is a real place." <laughs> yeah, I think that's gonna be the theme for this for this whole thing, isn't it? What is Puka de Beppo? Yeah. Is there an Italian place in in the Pizzaplex? Um, I think I guess we can. I guess we'll find out today. I mean, I know there's El Chip. That's probably which the closest is not Italian. Well, that yeah, that's that's Mexican. Well, Mexican in the American sense of the word. It's Chi-Chi's. Yeah. I missed this. Yes, so did I. I wonder if there's a Buka de Beppo. We should go to Buka de Beppo. Because now I need uh, to experience this. You know what? Yeah, why not? Call it a shining ro rolling excursion. Uh, let me see. Buka de Beppo dot com. Celebrate! Oh. Italian style! Italian style? Wait, is that the... Oh, so high grade I know. My... Sorry hey, for all of that. Uh, the closest Buka de Beppo... Uh, is in Gaithersburg. Oh. Yeah, that's not a bad drive. Okay, uh, <clears throat> so last time I played this game, we left Freddy to die, and then we went after Vanny, where Freddy died again. Vanny. Hiya, pilot. <laughs> um, so this time, we've done everything else. We did Princess Quest, we did Freddy is Daddy, and we did Peace. So now, we're gonna just stay. Oh no, oh. is it time for the ghost face ending? Uh, yes, he's gonna do the knife wipe and everything. I'm so happy they let him do that. I'm so glad too. Um, so uh, spoilers up. for the FNAF movie will be talked about on this stream. Um, we will try to keep it as minor spoilers for since it is a brand new movie. Jesus, Freddy. I missed you too, buddy. No, Jesus Freddy's not in the movie. <laughs> yeah, Jesus Freddy is in um, Special Delivery. Uh, Fredward. Fredward Christ. <laughs> um, but yes, there will be some mild spoiler talk in the movie, but it's basically talks of, hey, if you're aware of the games and if you're aware of the books, then that's pretty much as much we're going to talk about spoilers. Anything movie exclusive, we won't talk about. So I can't tell them how on the third night he went into parts and service, and on the sixth night he rose again to rock on Rockstar Row? Uh, I mean, yes, you can do that. Go on ahead. I mean, you just did. Okay, cool. Uh, is there supposed to be an echo for you, um, Pilot Ass? For me? Yeah, I guess someone has an echo. I don't know. Uh, it's a good old... Five Nights at Freddy's scuff stream because I'm streaming direct directly from PlayStation. Let me see if my TV's putting out audio. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so here we are. Here is our one and only save spot. We're gonna hit yes. And then because I am aware the Switch version had a game-breaking glitch, and I don't know if it's here in PS5 land. We're gonna do another safe slot. It is a glitch called the. Uh, it's called. Yeah, it's called the 7 a.m. glitch. And if you do that, you can't even go inside of a new. Uh, you can't go inside of any charge stations or anything. So I just learned that the mute button on my headset doesn't work when it's hardwired in, so you guys pretty much, I think, just heard me chow down on a boneless wing, so I'm gonna I'd... apologize to everybody. I didn't hear anything. Yeah, I didn't hear anything. 
Oh, hi, bot. Oh, hi, Freddy. Um, I saw I saw you earlier in in, in a candy stream. So please get out. Bot. No worries. I'm, I'm on the Xbox. I can't it's just, that's why I have my phone. I don't. Uh, heads up, I have no clue if sound alerts work because I don't have my OBS set up. I'm streaming directly from PlayStation. So, um, please save your stream stones. Please. Yes, it is. Apparently, Sony is shifting to focus away from games as a service, thank God, and starting to focus on utilizing third parties. It's okay, you'll get those 10 stream stones back. Uh, Redeemable for $5 off at uh, Buka de Beppo. <laughs> Not Buka de Beppo. Uh... Are we talking about Buca de, Be uh, de Beppo already? Yeah, you're saying speaking of Buca de Beppo? <laughs> Joe's small. Now, I wonder if it's the de, the Beppo, or the Buca that translates to Joseph. Yes? Alright, so I'm gonna do. This is gonna be the beginning part of the stream. I'm going to test. If any of the glitches I learned about the Switch version still works here. Also, the glitch in the Switch version is called It Runs on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, just a correction there. Uh, who is after me? Is it Roxy? Oh, it's Chica. Okay. Oh, the flashlight cancel doesn't work. This game's trash. <laughs> Immediately. Okay, so that's already one of my free get out of death cards gone. Um, I, wow, I can't believe it. Switch version is actually based. How am I doing? I'm doing good in my nice little cozy cardboard box with Wi Fi. It is nice to be doing a stream for y'all again. Where the hell am I going in this game? I think I'm going to Monty Golf? <laughs> Monty Golf, yes. Monty Golf is there. Because you know what they say anyone who goes to Monty Golf is a nerd. And that nerd is me today. So, ooh, Gator Golf! And I'm raising the brightness. This game is very dark. Come on, Deep Fried Freddy. Okay, I'm back. Welcome back. We're going uh, to Buka de Beko is here. <clears throat> Did you, wow. Uh, is this stream marked for cursing, by the way? Before yes. I uh, fuck it all up? Oops. It is, it is. <laughs> okay, so, once again, because I'm so in the weeds over Buka de Beppo. I'm sorry, I am sorry to Ty, I'm sorry to Ben, I'm sorry to the audience that you're gonna hear this word so often tonight. Yeah. Is it Beppo, that one kid's entertainer that all the parents hate? No, that's Blippy. Oh. <laughs> There's like a guy with a propeller head, his name's Blippy. Uh, it, like, parents don't is like this, his shit. Is this... Is this Buka de Beppo, or is this FNAF? The, the game, or... No, this is Patrick. I... <laughs> yeah, it's Matthew Patrick. It's just a theory. Haha... <laughs> <laughs> Is that a spoiler? N no, I think everyone's talking about that cameo now. I am happy he got in. Um, I sent this to Ty earlier. Uh, ben, you probably don't know this at all. Um, Matt Pat has a cameo. Um, but Matt Pat, who is now able to talk about his work on the movie. By the way, that man is an excellent liar because he had everyone believing he was not in it. Yeah, and the um, director made it obvious. Yes. And especially a better liar than Tom Holland. I mean, I think every, I think all of us are better liars than Tom Holland. I think Pinocchio himself is a better liar than Tom Holland. What what about P from Lies of P? Is he a better liar than Tom Holland? He don't say shit in that game, I think. 
Yes, so, yes. but he, he does have something called P organs, which I'm once again gonna say, why the fuck did you name something in your game P organs? Why is it called that? I don't like that. Uh, name. Still not as bad as when you beat the game and the game says, ending mm. B, rise of P. <laughs> is that the true end for the game? Yeah, the true end is called rise of P. Oh, man. Okay, I got that present. Um, anyway, uh, since it's cursing around, I'm going to explain why I'm so in the weeds over Buku de Beppo again. It sounds like you're making fun of Italians. It would be like if Outback Steakhouse was called, like, Crikey to Cunty or something. <laughs> you know, it's okay. I've said that word exactly once on these streams. <clears throat> And it was no, no, I said it with the Y, which means it's like the painted fingernail emoji. It's not like the the slur. So is that a slur? No, it's a swear. It's a swear. It's probably one of the far end swears. Like that's one of the ones you should never say on TV. Yeah. Candy is hoping you're safe from the DC word. Don't say the hot dog. <laughs> hot dog. Do what? what? Bad what traffic. Is no, it's a the certain... The Capitals? No, no. Uh, Candy, that's I'm Chili sorry. Bowl! <laughs> no, no one should be afraid of that. Uh, that's that's a really good food place. Um, I, I'm going to just say it this one and only time, Digital Circus. I like that show a lot. I know, I know. <clears throat> it's, it's a new web series, and... The fandom Candy... is very obnoxious. Uh, people have been using AI replication for, um... Jesus Christ! <laughs> Freddy just... Freddy just jump-scared the hell out of me! <laughs> I'm on a delay, so I can't wait I for that. From, from my point of view, you just got in the Freddy. You did you just passed. You just missed it. Then he just ran through the Yo, elevator. This game door. looks great now. Holy shit! Yeah, uh, ruined. <laughs> yeah, he just he just ran straight through. That was hilarious. Well, once again, on the third day, they rolled away the stone over parts of service, and he came out of the pizza plex. Also, I'm gonna just warn people because I have no clue how the how the hell this hotel Wi-Fi is going to be, it, sometimes it gets a little spotty. If the stream drops any time, at any point, just give me a moment to get everything set up again. Uh, I will return. I'll always come it's back. It's okay. We, we, we love you, even though you're at the hotel, motel, holiday inn. <laughs> Only for the next couple of months. Dale. Uh... Hey, Freddy. Have y'all seen that cosplayer? The person who was Pope Pitbull? No. I have not. He's, Please send that to me. He was like, in the name of the hotel, the motel, the holiday in LA. It was great. Is, is that a Mr. Worldwide song? Yes. I'm on TV. I'm pretty sure that is the chorus for the one where he's like, the hotel room, the hotel room. I don't know that chance. Um... I know there's only one Pitbull song I know right now, and it's because it's all over TikTok, because it's Johnny Cage's theme song now, and that's International Love. Mm. Alright, I gotta pull out the Blicky. The Faz Blicky? Yeah, I gotta pull out the Freddy the Mary Faz Jane? Blicky. Yeah, the Mary Jane. Is that... Well, no, wait, hold up. Is that actually a saying for a gun? <clears throat> no, I was saying that because of... I, I wouldn't call this a spoiler. But because of her gameplay sequences in Spider-Man 2, where she goes fucking <laughs> on people now. Yo, hold on. You're going to love Mary Jane's segment. So, yes. Yep. Uh, kind of. There is still a stealth aspect to her gameplay segments, but she is no longer defenseless. I would say Mary Jane segments are bootleg Metal Gear Phantom Pain. I would. Oh, hold up. Hey, we haven't heard this in a while. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Where is my camera? No, sadly not. They no. didn't pay. They weren't paying me. But you know who was the balloon? I was. You know who was the balloon boy? <laughs> balloon boy. <laughs> <laughs> Three times even. 
<laughs> Alright, so this is our get out of death free card. Unless they said, hey, ha ha ha, screw you, uh, you don't get that anymore. Don't forget Monty. He has shades on. Yep, um, they're used, back in the day, you could actually hit him with, <clears throat> with the camera. Um and get out of death. However, it's only a temporary thing, because then he goes into something that the fandom uh, calls Creeper Monty, where he T-poses at you and moves way faster than you can... <laughs> so, he can now move faster than you can walk and run. And he uh, will I always catch you. I have a fun FNAF thing to bring up for discussion. Okay. Uh, Ty, you know these, um, so it's a bit of a cheat. Um, so, Combi, I don't know if you know this, or Ben, or whatever the fuck we're calling each other, I don't know. <clears throat> um, they came out with Pizza Plex candy bars. Oh, yeah, yes. FYE. And there are three of them, because fuck Roxanne, I guess. Um, so out of the three of these, I want to know which you would eat, okay? We have the Freddy's Glam Rock Crunch, which is orange and milk chocolate bar with popping candy. We have Chica's Snack Cravings, which is cupcake flavored with white chocolate. No! And then we have. Ah, uh, uh, geez. Monty's Gator Grub, oh. a lemon lime cream bar. Monty's dumb as shit. I don't know. I am. <laughs> I love citrus, and I think the Monty one might be my favorite. No, just. just uh, I would probably try the Freddy one. We should find these and, like, record a thing. We should. I can appreciate that. I think, I don't know. I mean... <clears throat> uh, uh, see, a comfort sense. thing for me growing up, and they only ever sold these around, like, Easter, uh, were those chocolate oranges, if you know what I'm talking about. Uh where you have to, like, smash them, like, briefly, so to, like, separate the peels. <clears throat> those are awesome. I love those. Monty, go... Pilot says, I like out. lemon, too. Hey, good taste. Lemon bars are, like, really good, though. They're probably my favorite. Also, speaking of food, want to shout out uh, Ben here. Uh, based on your recommendation, when we saw TMNT Mutant Man, I got the chips and queso at the Alamo. Delicious. Awesome. I just... I got a pepperoni pizza, and that was really good. And I hate thin crust. I also got the, uh... Just not crazy about it, for some reason. What were they? The the caramel apple donut holes? They were not dry. Hmm. Tetris There's nothing... Orange. There's nothing Tetris? worse. <clears throat> yes, Terry's! Terry's chocolate orange! Oh, you can buy them on Amazon! Wait, they sell those on Amazon? I can buy a chocolate orange on Amazon. Yo, do it. Buy a bunch. Alright, we got the camera. I can take a selfie with Freddy. And Chica. Look and I gotta find... Freddy Wait, I, I'm too high up. I need to be on the middle. Uh, ground. Can we get That's much where higher? Be. Uh, we don't want to get much higher. Not right now, because the save point's on on the second floor of the atrium. Mm. Go away. Yeah, because next is what? You have to take out Monty's ass? <laughs> yep, no! And that's, you no. have to go to Mazer Stars. Yeah, but that's probably going to be the whole stream. <laughs> Should I, like, have the key up, ready to go, or...? Yeah, just... Please. Please do. Okay. Yeah, because major size took me a bit on. Even though, switch. in my opinion, the solution that is in the key like makes no fucking sense. Once again, uh, please note that I am doing two different save slots every now and again, and I'm probably going to branch off to that because I'm terrified of the 7 a.m. glitch. Uh, what happened? Uh, just to reacquaint everyone on what the 7 a.m. glitch does, it makes every single. Uh, charge station for Freddy inactive. It doesn't work anymore. And even worse, it just 
It um. <clears throat> I'm trying to try to get my words together. It deactivates after an ending. You can't even get by. You're stuck at the blob. And uh, you don't want to be stuck at the blob. Yeah. Not saying the blob's a terrible person, but I hate I hate him, and I don't ever want to see him again. I forgot. We're going to Mazer size. Okay. Freddy, I'm going to recharge. I need to get past you. the diner segment so I can turn off Alan Wake and focus on the stream. But because I just went in the diner, mm -hmm. there is something I have to check. You both know what I am checking instantly. <laughs> The... No! <laughs> yep, there it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> no! <laughs> to be fair, I was thinking about warning you, but then I thought, but then we wouldn't have had that. I, I need you both to know. First of all, I can only imagine what Rumi Boo is doing in the living room after hearing that. Um, that Beck immediately came out from under the bed and started rubbing on my foot like, It's okay, buddy. I'm sorry. I also like that song. The poor old thing can only take so much of the same song being played over and over. I'm as big of a fan of Coconut as the next person, but come, oh, come on. on. I was sad too Never when I read it. Never forget what they took away from us. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, that means just the uh, the members of the old gods of Asgard no longer go to that diner. Or at least the one member. I need a doctor. Take my mazer size ticket and let me go to hell. Welcome to mazer size. I will get further in this. How many deer can I pet? Uh, 12. Oh, is there a thing for petting all the deer heads? Go to the, like, go to the mine place and talk, and go to the deer. I noticed that really quickly. Oh. Because I was like, all right, so it's counting down. What's going to happen? Hopefully I can have antlers. Once I got the second one, I was like, hold up. Yeah, because I think this is like the third or fourth one where it's let me. I'm keeping this ba big because we're here for the bear and we're not here to talk about Alan. Yeah. Alan. 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 Okay, I hate I'm happy that each of us went with a different Alan gift, by the way. <laughs> Honestly, Ben, I'm shocked you didn't use the one I sent, because when I think Alan, that's what I think of. <clears throat> the fucking raptor in Jurassic Park 3 is just like, hey, Alan. <laughs> it's the one that I think of, too, but it, the, other, the one that I sent uh, was the first one to pop up. Mm. Alrighty, um... So, now that I have... He is dumb. But then Chris Pratt was like, hold my beer. We're going to the daycare theater, guys. Squeak noise. Did you see a squeak noise? Yeah, I said squeak noise, because I can't, I can't make that noise. Um, you know what else I can't do? I can't listen to fucking coconut <laughs> monsters. Go away. <laughs> go, go away, security bot. I don't want you here. Um, alright, so... Let's, let's start off, um, some FNAF movie talk. Um, Phalanx, since, since we both saw it, I hate you so much, and I want... Gregory, now is not the time to be looking at your Apple Watch. What did I say? <laughs> no. I was like, since we saw, I thought it was like going to be one of the, like, the things I pointed out. How like a certain yeah! actor in that movie is also in The Quiet Man. <laughs> no. <laughs> Once again, the security bots just know when to just time things perfectly clearly. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's like, like where did what? that come from? What it's did just I like do? when I point out to people playing Baldur's Gate 3 that their fucking vampire man sounds like Stewie Griffin. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, but um, <laughs> um, what would you if there was anything you could change about the movie? What would you change? Oh God. Um, there is one specific sequence. <laughs> yeah, obviously we need that. Um, yeah. there is one specific sequence. So most of the movie is practical, and you can tell. There is mm -hmm. part of the ending where a certain pastry tries to kill Peter Malark, and it is the most obvious instance of CG in the entire movie. Alrighty, that's fair. So you would have Which, preferred something... Which, if people didn't know, the, the person playing uh, Michael Schmidt, because that's as much as they say is his name, and that, that's what I'll say, um, is Peter Malark from The Hunger Games. That I knew. Um... Uh, Josh so Hutcherson. it's Mike Schmidt. Oh, okay. oh, okay. I couldn't think of the actor's name. I was like, okay. okay. Yeah, Josh, uh, Josh Hutchin, uh, Hutchinson, I believe. Okay. Yes, Josh, Josh Hutcherson. Oh, Hutcherson. I thought it was Hutchinson. Ruby Boo's a big fan, and uh, we had an interesting talk about actors who unfortunately can't escape the, the teen movies they were in. Uh, I'm guessing, obviously, Hunger Games is his. Yeah, like, fucking, um, Katniss is, I, I, I just call her Katniss, this disproving my point, but, like, Jennifer Lawrence has her own shit now. Like, Kirsten Stewart, amazing actress. Um, if you haven't seen Underwater, please watch Underwater. It's is great. Is that recent? That's, yeah, I think it was, like, uh, maybe, like, four or five years ago. Hmm. Probably less. Um, if you want to watch Bella Swan fight Cthulhu. Okay, so, yeah, that's yes. pretty cool. Um, help, where is the daycare theater? Uh, in the daycare. Okay, so, where, where is the best way for me to go for that? You want to go back to the main lobby, and then when you exit the elevators, make a left to go into the daycare. Okay, so I'm going back to the main lobbies where I can ditch Freddy, right? <clears throat> yes. Okay. Sorry, it's been a bit since I played the Switch version, and it's I don't okay. want to go back to it. <laughs> <laughs> Major size block. Sorry, you've been RPing as Glamrock Chicken for the past five almost. Did, woo! Did you know that That's a long time you've been playing. Yes, uh, co uh not cosplay. Uh, RPing as Glamrock Chica. But thank you for dropping by. Yes, we are trying to figure out Major Size, and we're going to the daycare where we've been banned. If I didn't already have a headset on my head, I would put on. Uh... I guess I can talk about that. I can post a picture of visual references for people. Uh, Ty and I had the privilege to go to an Alamo Draft House screening of FNAF. Which was so uh, hashtag good. Hashtag not sponsored. Um, and we got, uh, as part of the showing, a Freddy Fazbear's pizza box full of little plastic props. I want you to know. Including a stuffed cupcake, a bow tie, um, and a little plastic top hat. And then we got a Freddy mask, which is the wrong Freddy. Hey, um, that has Jenner the pizza on the back of it. Janitor Bot, do not snitch, I swear, if you snitch on me. Why are you active again? That is now in visual references for uh, folks who want to uh, see that. I, I want you to know that when I got back to the old cardboard box at like 1 in the morning, mm -hmm. um, I, I actually met my roommate... And I had Toriador playing on my on my phone, yes. and I was like, hor, 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 hor. <laughs> So you're like ninety percent of the greetings that are happening right now. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, does anyone know what what happened with the fight? What went down? Uh, the the with fight that? of eighty-seven. Yeah. The, what happened with the fight of eighty-seven? How did that go down? I'm just gonna assume it happened because London. No offense to the British people. They didn't mean it, my sisters from the UK. Get better God. food. Skill issue. <laughs> Listen, if I, I have to see one more unboxing of a chippy tea on TikTok. What is a chippy tea? Uh, the most congealed fries you have ever seen in your fucking life. 
uh, covered in some of the most gross-looking sauce you have ever seen in your life. It, apparently, it's like it's there are variants of it, but it's basically it's you're you're having chips with a sauce and some kind of dish. Um, the one the one infamous one that goes around is a guy who puts his congealed fries on the plate. And then he throws like a Mrs. Lovett's meat pie on it. That's what it looks like. But, uh, I'm, I'm not uh, just being racist against the British. By the way, whenever uh, I pause, it's just a heads up. Whenever I pause, it's me reading chat because I don't like to ignore chat. Uh, let's see, it's back uh, to your brain, kind of. And then he covers curry. it in like this. This it, they say it's curry sauce, but it looks like gravy that Marceline the Vampire Queen sucked the color out of. Hold up, hold up. We got our reasoning for the fight of '87. Freddy oh. dabbed on Funtime Freddy, and Funtime was majorly insulted, so he went whore, whore, whore style on him. Oh. You know what? It makes sense now. It fin we finally you, you, got you our answers. You say that, and like, I imagine that's like a style you could invoke in like Yakuza. Yeah, <laughs> It'd be the strong- it's stronger than Dragon style. Uh. I'm still looking forward to- ooh, the, uh, the man who erased his name comes out like in a couple of weeks. I am nervous about that game. I... That game or Infinite Wealth? Both! So, first first things first, let's just... Let's address the elephant in the room. Uh, yes. I have uh, cancer. Infinite... No, well, <laughs> we've been... <laughs> well, we've been knew that. But for we've anyone new... We've been addressing new... that elephant for two... Or, sorry. Uh, sorry, can you say let's address the elephant in the room one more time? Uh, we've been addressed. Let us address the elephant in the room. Wowie zowie! <sighs> Alright, y'all, have a good night. I'm leaving. Oh, come on! <laughs> no, I'm not going anywhere. The stream just started, and I haven't done this in seven months. I. You I walked into that. This. I know, I know. It's you, you only actually. My... I'm honestly shocked when I said repeat that. You didn't like instantly go like, oh god damn it. Because I'm dumb. <laughs> we. I, I thought you learned this from the Relum incident. We're also out of practice. That is also true. You know where we could practice. Oh, let's see. Uh, hold up. We got more. Uh, apparently, <laughs> we got some. We got some intel on the horror horror -hor style. Uh, apparently okay. that style is Freddy beatboxing to the Living Tombstone song, uh, causing enemies to violently explode. That sounds awesome. That does sound awesome. Is this going to be in the next season of Fortnite? Uh, I hope so. If there's, if Epic is smart, they will. That reminds me, I need to pick up Alan Wake because he's in the shop now. Oh, uh, how, how many? Tell me how many V bucks. Eighteen hundred for Alan the. Dark Place Lamp Pickaxe, which I'm assuming will make sense when I get further in the game, uh, and the Find Alice uh, gun skin. And he has Alan's iconic messenger bag as his back plate. Is that as iconic as Desmond's iconic uh, beanie? Or, um, fucking Watchdog Man's iconic hat? To be fair, Aiden Pierce has a good, has a nice hat. I actually wore that hat for a good few years when I played Watch Dogs, and I pre-ordered yes. it. Uh, and to be my... fair, Watch Dogman sounds like a man from Death Stranding. <laughs> it does. Um, but my thoughts on Watch Dog 1 aside, uh, which, if you want to know my thoughts on Watch Dogs 1, it kind of sucked. It was awful. Um, Watch Dogs 2 is good, though. Like, if you have never played Watch Dogs... Yeah, I I was like, I feel like I'm too deep with this series, so screw it, I'll play Watch Dogs 2 and give it a fair shot. And this was after the Ubisoft uh, E3 presentation. You know, remember E3, that dead thing? Um, yeah. I watched the Watch Dogs 2 presentation, I was like, wait, this looks fun. You know, the messed up thing is, I have Watch Dogs 2, and I have Watch Dogs Ligma. Legion! Why did I say Watch Dogs Ligma? <laughs> you have... <laughs> Watch Dogs Ligma. I've never played that one. I have Watch Dogs Legion. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, it's Watch Dogs Ligma now. <laughs> 
Ooh, Truly, oh. these is gaming in the Clinton years. <laughs> also, Cooper. Uh, also, Cooper the Goat. I'm just gonna say you're my favorite person for mentioning Fist of the North Star in this chat. I love Fist of the North Star. Uh, I should give it a rewatch. It's been a while. It has been you a long. You know the, the funny thing is, the whole reason I got Watchdog Ligma. That sounds like a disease. Um, yeah. Is that they said you could play as an assassin in it? You like from and Assassin's then I, like, Creed? Played, like the first twenty minutes, and I never played it again. Cause the. F <laughs> no. Yeah. So when they announced Watchdog Ligma, they were like, "The season pass, you'll be able to play as a modern day assassin." And I was like, "That's cool." Uh, the. The advertisement I saw was like, hey, you can have an army of grandmas if you wanted. Yeah, I remember that. And I know Magic was like, oh, that's cool. I want a legion of grandmas. And I play. I also bought that game at launch. And hey, I played at least you the... put more time into Watchdog Ligma than I have put into Stranger of Paradise. Final what Fantasy are you... Origins. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I played that game for only 20 minutes too. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Not to say it was bad, it just kept crashing. Like, when Watch Dogs Ligma came out, um, I called it Crash Dogs because it would... Um, <clears throat> it was only a matter of time until the game crashed on me. It wasn't cyberpunk bad, even though I did not get any... Oh no, I know what's here. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah, it's time for uh, Weeping Angels. What's that? You, I kept calling them the cupcake robots. That's right. Because what, I think it was the first. No, it was the second New Year's Eve um, stream with this. And I said, hey, what if. No, it wasn't the New Year's Eve. It was like a couple months after. But the point is, I was like. What if when I was hiding and watching them on the camera, they were all singing Squidward Nose by Cupcake, and it's just That's overlapping, right. yep. See, when I see them, I just hear fucking Thaf9 going t jock R, because that's all he refers to that game as. <laughs> um, this game? No, um, The Joy of Creation Reborn, because that's, okay. I think these are like directly lifted from it. I mean, that would be weird to... I mean, but... I guess in a sense, I shouldn't be surprised. Uh, <clears throat> hold on, there's a secret in here that I gotta do, and... Uh, it's Foxy. Yep, because you know the you know the theft saying... Foxy loves to get flashed. Uh, <clears throat> I gotta do that with a bunch of other um, cutouts. Yeah. Um, we'll find it's all those. the pirate ones, if I recall. Yes, it's all the pirate ones. I remember there's one in Rockstar Row, and I think that's Mermaid Chica? Yes. Alright, Freddy, help me. Freddy just... <laughs> Freddy oh. just came out of nowhere. He just did the cha-cha slide coming out of the wall. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Got the control key. Freddy, how much battery do you got? You got enough for me to get out of here with... Alright, three. We're gonna have to make it work, buddy. Yo, peace. Have fun. Um... Parents the worst. Any of you kids have parents. Don't you hate it when your parents... Yo, this comedy bus sucks. They you. They are all right. I guess hey, I managed this a lot better, um, this go-round than I did on the Switch. Just, and also, just friendly advice, don't play the Switch version, please don't. I, I, I know this game is not, like, the best, but this game is, deserves better than the Switch port. Now, if you like the Switch port, more power to you, it is just, mm, it was a thing for me. I'm sorry, we gotta, we gotta split. There's gotta be another power station somewhere. Yeah, it is both, I hate it personally, but that's only because I want to be, man, how do I say this without sounding sus? 
<laughs> I want to. Hmm. Man, I, I really don't know how to say this without sounding like I'm that I'm in that part of the fandom. Um, screw it. Um, Tai Ichijo here, confirming that I. Though I respect those who are of this community, I am not one to my knowledge because I have not gone that deep into my interest into figuring that out, and I don't plan to. <clears throat> but um, figuring what out? what out? Basically, the point is, I'm not a furry, but I would like to ride within Freddy the entire time. Mm. So, so literally, I'll, I'll just. So what you're saying is you like big bears. And I cannot lie. That has two meanings. Yeah. Was this arcade always the thing? It reminds me of I don't know if y'all have watched like the uh I, I think the TV show is just called The Muppets. It's long cancelled, but it was supposed to be like a, a sitcom with the Muppets. Was that on an ABC? <clears throat> I think so. Uh, yeah, that. But I thought the show was good. There's an episode where Fozzie talks about uh, trying to online date, and he's like, "Yeah, you know, I set up my profile as uh, big bear, big cuddly bear seeks company, and boy, am I getting the wrong people." Oh, how do they get away with that? <laughs> Even for a PG show, how do they get away with that? Yeah, and. By the way, uh, you said PG, so just, I want to congratulate the FNAF directors for, like, really towing the line and making a movie that I would be comfortable taking, like, a well-adjusted 8 or 10-year-old to. Yeah, they did. They made the PG-13 rating work, and that is so hard to do in horror. I'm trying to think if they even swore at all. I'm pretty... Yeah, the, what, in the movie? Yeah. Yeah, there was like three counts of the word ass and one count of the word shit. That's right, because uh, William Afton was all like, oh, I've been springlocked, I'm shitting myself. <laughs> well, actually, no, there was like a different character who, who uh... It was one of the, uh, the people... It was one of the uh, people during the great Freddy Fazbear killings. Where the golden yeah. chainsaw happens, that I believe. Yes. I, I also, I'm glad we both refer to that kill as the Golden Chainsaw of the movie. Mm-hmm. Because I said, if Even it's not it bad. Even next to nothing. But the thing is, it's the silhouette work. It did it so well. Silhouettes are so strong when you don't want to show actual gore. And the dull machete goes to, um, uh, uh... Who got off... Whatever. Whoever Bonnie, Bonnie that guy yeah, <laughs> yeah, because that was off screen, and while the the blood smear was cool, um, yeah, that wasn't like that was boring. It's true. Before their extinction, bears were <clears throat> pizza delivery trucks more than any other food service vehicles. Yep, this shout out to Dead Meat. Absolutely love that channel. Oh yeah. Shout out to Film Fails. Is that ran by Dead Meat as well? Uh, there is no channel called Film Fails. They have a cameo in Scream 2022, Ooh. in which they appear as a ripoff of Cinema Sins, making fun of Stab Eight. Okay, I like that. Yeah, James and Chelsea are really good friends with the two guys who make up Radio Silence, who directed Scream Five and Six, and also Ready or Not. Hmm. Uh, is Ready or Not any good? Oh, it's amazing. I loved it. Oh, I'll have to give it a look. Uh, has anyone <clears throat> seen Bodies, Bodies, Bodies yet? We're just probably just them. Is Bodies, Bodies, Bodies good? Love it. Um, you Where might. It? It's one of those movies where I'd say you might hate it if you're the person it's critiquing, uh, because the movie is definitely like millennials making fun of those millennials. What is? The... All right, I'm gonna have some. I'm gonna take the bait. Well. TikTok on challenge millennials, if that makes sense. Ah, uh, okay. So basically the people... Okay, so I won't be offended by it at all. Yeah, I, I think someone in that movie at one point is like, I literally can't be racist, I have ADD or something along those lines. I'm sorry, what? Yeah. Um, but here's the here's my favorite question about that movie. Were there indeed bodies, bodies, bodies? Oh, there are bodies, bodies, bodies. 
Is it, you think the best kill was the lady being ah? Uh, yep, yep. The, the 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 body of eighty seven. The golden chainsaw. Yeah. <clears throat> yes, that was the that was indeed the best kill in the entire movie. I need oh, to see. rewatch that scene because I need to see if that was Freddy or if that was Golden Freddy who did it. That was Freddy. That was Freddy. Because the boy who lures her back there is our boy Golden Freddy. Yeah, but he, the thing is, Golden Freddy is more ghost-like. The, yeah. It can still be Golden Freddy leading her to Freddy, but it's not actually Freddy. I am shocked, I am shocked by the way they let Corey Kenshin, or they did not have him say like the line I know him for. What line is that? Uh, it's hot as hell in this fucky ass that's, room I'm in. Hold it, that's not Corey, that's Burleazy. <clears throat> I thought that was Corey who says, is that the Grim Reaper? Nope, Corey is squeaky clean. He does not swear at all. Okay. Because, and I know... No, no, Burleazy. Yeah, Berlin. <laughs> My god. Alright, all right, let's... It's major size time. I, I've, I've stalled enough. Let's go. I'll uh, post the solution in Discord for Alright, uh, I know the hint is that I gotta... The green is... The the dark green is my uh, key. But getting here is gonna be... A... Yeah, Ben, look at these instructions you know, that I just posted. And you left. know what? No, I don't want to wait. Uh, you know, no, 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 no. Do this right. Okay, fine. I'll do it again. <clears throat> here we go again. Doing, doing major size. Alright, chat. How are we all doing today as we take the next three hours to do this? We're burning off calories while enjoying pizza, cookies, and glizzies, or whatever else they serve. Uh, pizza, ice cream... Yes. Welcome to Major Size. What is this Silent Hill 2 dog mastermind interface that you're putting them in on? <laughs> so, okay, you know what, I, I'm gonna... Let's talk Silent Hill for a bit, because I love Silent Hill. <clears throat> uh, apparently, that place. Yes, that place, Silent Hill. Where, uh, something something Guy Chihi says 5G towers or some conspiracy series shit. I'm just pressing buttons. I'm not even caring. What What is wrong with me? Why am I even looking at this tiny camera? It's not helping me. Okay, I made it worse. I definitely made it worse. Wait. I forgot that I was Mike Myers in Fortnite, and I just opened that Fortnite and had, like, a brain aneurysm when I just saw Michael S. Myers staring at me. No, they put in the love guru. Is <clears throat> also, this game deserves an ending where no one gets smashed and we cure Chica, Monty, and Roxy of their hacking, and we have a good and actually happy ending, even if it's non-canon. Uh, because the scene where they have fun in the movie building the fort is how things should have been. I agree. I, that scene was cute. Yeah. That that was probably one of my favorite scenes in the movie. Especially just Bonnie just high off, uh, high off his mind and he just falls down. <laughs> Oh yeah, did you have- You son of a bitch! Move! We're going for it! You stupid ice cream tiered thing! Great, now Chica's out there and I have no clue of how safe I am. And I'm probably gonna lose a lot of progress, I probably should have saved- did I save when I return back to the atrium? Oh no. Freddy! Where are you? Freddy! Freddy, don't make me quote the Markiplier thing, please. Freddy, don't make me quote the Markiplier thing. I, I think Chica's out there, and I don't want Freddy. Chica to be out there. Go, 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 go! Uh, yeah, where he's shouting. Freddy! Freddy! <laughs> okay, moving. 
I'm running, running. Please, let my legs not fail me now. Gregory, lift up those tiny legs. Ah, oh, shit. <coughs> Jesus Christ. Who else is after me? Jesus Christ? I mean, if Jesus is coming to take me now, that's fine. Move! Move! You're move. welcome. Oh god, move! It's so funny. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, we're good. Alright. Um, hold on. All right, You're hold welcome. on for a moment. I'm getting a phone call. Okay. I'm just here making my virus do silly emotes. I had Wingstop. That was good. Now I have way too many leftover wings. That's usually how wings are good. Yeah, it's the the unfortunate side effect is the amount of fluids that I'm drinking to help things go down smooth. It means okay. I get full a lot sooner. I'm back Which and I have bad. saved. Welcome back. And I'm <clears> saving again because save obsession syndrome has claimed me. Oh, I got. I'm doing the same with that one. Alan. What did you have for dinner? Who me? Any of you. Uh, chicken nuggies. Mm. With some sweet and sour sauce. And mayonnaise, because... Take me, Roxy. Uh, how, how shitty were the wings? Like, shitty because the sauce sucked ass, or shitty because, like, there was no meat? Uh, like, shitty because they were, uh... Chica, I hate you. Oh, wait, no, that's not Chica. That's Freddy. I'm were sorry, Were they baked Freddy. instead of fried? Oh, I don't like baked chicken wings. I'm sorry. I'm not a... I mean, to be fair, uh, this might be a hot take. I'm not much of a wings person. Yeah. I was expecting you to say everyone's allowed one bad take in their life. No. And I'm like, okay, yeah, that, that's that's valid. That makes sense. It hurts, but it, it, that makes sense. Okay, what am I moving? Freddy's out there in case I need to move him. Um, I guess we'll move that and we'll do that. It looks like the way to the vent is open, but it's not, because I see that stupid ice cream thing there again. If that is the answer, I swear to God. Okay, so... That's like if... one third of the answer. One the what? That is one third? Yeah. Still, well, we need to talk. It's not me, it's you. Please don't, don't talk to me again until you make Ruin the best thing ever. And no, and yes, uh, uh and yes, uh, Steel Wool, leave all the Roxy magazines, you don't deserve it. That's right, I know what you use them for. Okay, I think I see the the dark green one getting closer. Yeah, it's getting closer. That's that's what I need to do. Uh, I hate this. I hate this section. It's the worst. That, that's not where I needed to go. Go up. I said up, you bastard. I 
forgot it's Inscription and... is on PS Plus. Oh yeah, it is. If you've never played Inscription, it's good. It's really good. Great game. Most so, you know, probably what people say... should play on PS Plus if they've never had it before is, uh... Disco Elysium and Final Cut. I actually bought that when it first came out on PS5. It's Back so when the gosh. dude had control of his game. It's so good. No, Chica, I don't hate you. <laughs> well, actually, we have history. <clears throat> Chica's gone. Uh... Oh my god. Not my, not my sister sending me a WhatsApp message saying I'm not a furry butt. No, oh, she see, called me. Here I thought, she called here me I thought she'd be sending one being like, what the fuck you say about Chippy T, you motherfucker? <laughs> oh no. No, she called me in 4K. No, no, now I'm gonna have. To, nope, now I have to. Now I have to join Mika. I have to. Nope. nope. <laughs> You have two people up there now who are gonna kick your ass back down here. Yeah, oh, great. Yeah, and they're gonna. I'm gonna. Get, I, I'll end up going there, and it's gonna be like an episode of Jujutsu Kaisen where they hit me with the two piece and set me back to Earth. See, now I'm just gonna start sending comb beard like disgusting chippy tea videos. I don't even know what a chippy tea is, though. You know, maybe let me check the message. Let me check the message. Maybe she sent me what a chippy tea is. She did not tell me what a chippy tea is yet. Uh, I hate Mazer size. I'm I'm absolutely going to be here forever. Is your sister the type who's like, I just got a Chinese? Uh, for as long as I've known her, I'm pretty sure no. Thank God. You'd love my sisters. I'll just say that. Okay, I can see the dark green again. What if I keep spamming? Three. Yeah, so then you're going to want to use the lever, press the button on the bottom row once, oh, no. uh, I... and then hit button two on the bottom row once. Use the lever, press button one on the row two times. I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to have an aneurysm. <laughs> <laughs> Prepare your chippy tea. Uh, I could be watching Jujutsu Kaisen right now. You could be watching Juicy Kitten. Yeah, I could. <clears throat> I absolutely could. Uh, I could be seeing whatever person is about to get their ass whooped in the latest episode. I can't but here believe I am. they patched Gojo out of Spider-Man 2. <laughs> yeah, I'm so sad about that. Okay, okay, the green is where I need it to be. <clears throat> okay. Alright, so, now... Let's see. The mushy everything. peas are on the chippy tea. We're getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> this is... I, I I hate this so much. Okay, I'm so... I'm glad you're having fun. Beck, you having fun, buddy? Yes. Meow. Meow. He's, he's always having fun. <laughs> well, okay. that's not true. He was not having fun earlier because uh, Rumi Boo got the pet's Halloween costumes and Beck was not happy. Oh, uh, is Beck not a costume wearer? Most cats are not clothing people. That's true. Oh, I saw that thing just literally despawn. Hell yeah, you did. No! What? <laughs> uh, okay, um... Oh, poor Mogs. Should I try seeing how well everything is, uh... Go for it. Worst case scenario is you get jump scared, and then we just read off the uh, fucking SAT answers here that help you get their mega size. I Mazer sure hope size. I get it. I don't know what mega size is, but it's what the mega zords do. Mega size. I know what they used to offer at McDonald's until that uh, oh. Morgan Spurlock guy came around. I'm free. Did you just do it intrinsically? <laughs> yeah, I guess so! I'm a little mad at you right now. Look, if it makes you feel any better, it should be five hours to do it on the Switch. <laughs> no, let me... Let me... 
let me see this. Let me let the me fitness see. The fitness gram pacer test is a multi-stage aerobics. Get out of here. <laughs> I hate I hate that stupid test so much. I, I would, so here's the route that would get you to the vent quickly. Press button four on the bottom row four times. Use the lever. Hit button three on the bottom row two times. Use the lever. Put button one on the top row two times. Use the lever. Hit button two on the bottom row oh, once. How many times you slap DK's ass? <clears throat> Use the lever. Press button two on the bottom row once. The vent will now be accessible. I hate them. Monty, if you jump scare me, I'm going to kill you. Wait. Hold up. I solved major size. Go back. No. Gregory, get your chunky ass back in that vent. What happened? I'm saving the damn game. That's what I'm doing. Because if I die to Monty, I'm, I have to do it again. But who wants candy? Yo, I'm going to get some candy from the living room. I'll be right back. Please have some good candy. All right, find my way back out of the major size. <clears throat> because I swear to God, I will act. I will probably. I will probably go on a personal warpath if I end up dying and losing all that progress. Freddy, open up your chest cavity now. I need. I need. I need to. Run. God, I hate. I. I hate. I hate the internet culture so much right now because every single time I can just feel the internet posting the rock doing the fucking eyebrow raise. If I were to say, Freddy, I need to ride you back to the safe, to the safe point. With the vine boom and everything. Freddy, you're my only hope. Let me ride. <laughs> Tika, get off the elevator. I'm sorry, the escalator. I'm dumb. You don't belong there, girl. You should be roaming free, not trapped on the stairs. Thank you, Freddy. I'm safe now. And then suddenly, Roxy just leaps out from the ether. And then I'd actually get probably upset. All right, choose another safe slot existing. <clears throat> All right, I don't. Is Freddy, stay here. I kind of don't need you right now. We roll. And I'm running out of stamina, so we'll wait. And now we'll run. And, we'll run again. Where okay, I need ran? to find a new roommate. What did What did Rumi Boo do? I forgot that she pronounces it Reese's Pieces. Mmm. Mmm. Are you texting <laughs> Rubyville? Uh, I guess. I mean, that is a pretty grave offense. Depending on what Ben texts her, that might get her to stop. No, or she might cover the room and, like, smack me. <laughs> I mean... Disclaimer, my roommate and I have a wonderful, like, living situationship. They do not abuse me. I am not in danger. Domestic violence is a serious issue. I am not under threat. If you are suffering through any form of abuse, please seek proper help and support channels. There, and there's our PSA. play Balan Wonderworld on the Nintendo Switch. God, no. Don't even play Balan Wonderworld, period. But which I that's still on PS Plus. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> well, Beck's leaving, I guess. <laughs> Did she really was, just come in? Was that in the to stream shout... premiere of Ruby Boo? <laughs> I, I guess so. Maybe. Good news: Bell and Wonderworld is off PS Plus and can now be enjoyed for thirty nine ninety nine. <laughs> oh no! <clears throat> oh yeah, it's been one year since uh, Bayo 3 released, and you know, the gays went through Bayo their own 9-11. Nodding. 
it's well we've already been over a year for uh bayonetters hey, uh who you, wants to fight PS plus. what Paw Patrol, the movie, Adventure City Call. I ain't playing no damn propaganda game on my channel. Should I explain why I keep looking you with Paw Patrol? <laughs> you know, I, I could have sworn it was just about the whole propaganda thing that you showed yeah, me. Yeah, it was one day during work, I was like, I'm gonna watch this five-hour <clears throat> video essay about how Paw Patrol is propaganda. And then you sent it to me, and then I watched it, and then I showed my roommate. Also, hi, uh, Rumi Boo. <laughs> yeah, but like, I, I had no idea like how bad it got. Where like the only black character is obsessed with chicken. Okay, all right, there he is. Oh, did Rumi Boo jump into chat to? Uh... Yeah, she said it all caps. Who wants to fight? Hi, Ty. <laughs> uh, I don't want any of that work. So uh, you have fun with that. <laughs> I have to fight a giant alligator. Yes, yes, uh, Neo Arcadia, this is a safe space to uh, speak your correct opinion on being out of Yeah, please, by all means. Okay, Monty's trying to clap my cheeks. There's a new Gungrave? Gungrave, uh, yeah, Gungrave Gore. That's been out since, like, last year, I think. Oh. It's good. It's a good game. Uh, I think I'm shooting it over here. Escape Academy. Uh, mini game collection for the PSP. Oh no, they got rabbits. More or less. Ape Escape um, Academy is actually fairly decent. Okay. Yeah, you know, they got Jack X Combat Racing. Yeah, they've they've had PlayStation's had that for a while. The entire series, except for that fourth game that no one talks about. What am I talking about? There was no fourth game. What's Ape Monty, Escape on the loose? Uh, PSP remake, or rema PSP version of the first Ape Escape game. Uh, exactly the same, spike control's a little heavier, but he's voiced by Richard Horvitz for some reason. Oh. It's good, that's, that... It's, it's that guy from, um... Monty, where are you? ...that people hate, but I think is okay. Hell the boss. Hell of, a Hell of a Boss is not bad, in my opinion. It's, it's another one of those things where the fandom drives people away from it. Oh, yeah, obviously. That's kind of just anything by uh, Busy Pop, I believe. I have no, really, I have no opinions. I used to read her webcomic before she was an animator. She had a webcomic? Yep, called Zoophobia. Um, it went on, like... It died. <laughs> it died because all her efforts now. I was like, should I say hiatus? No, it's dead. It's as dead as me. Yo, cat. they got Watchdogs Ligma. <laughs> I love this. Now that's just a, it's a joke. <clears throat> Monty. Ghostbusters video game remastered. Uh, that's good if you've never played that. But I think you. I think I want to say you did play it um, when it first came out. I probably did. I should download this. this uh, Ghostbusters. The game that was on the 360 and it has a remaster now. Why am I downloading things? I have, like, so much to play. Yeah, the 2009 one. It's a really good one. Compare, did you ever play Ghostwire Tokyo? Uh, did you also do the new expansion that was free? Okay. Uh... So I mean, you the also got to the free. ending that kind of is a little bit of a wet fart, in my opinion. And yet, somehow, the game's going to get a sequel. If the leaks are right. Oh no, my controller's low. I knew I forgot to do something before I, st before I started this. Uh, shoot balls into the, uh, into the bucket. And drop Monty to his death. I know it's not exactly clear. Aye! <laughs> Much like Tiger Woods' career, you're killing it with golf. Oh, we didn't play Monty golf. We gotta go back.
Because there's actually a Monty Golf mini game. Oh, you dick. Good thing I saved. <laughs> he came out of nowhere. Some of the PS2 games are terrible emulation for PS5. Yeah, um, the emulation for PlayStation is not great. But it's better than nothing, so I'll give it that. But I'd rather play native. Okay, let's try that again. You know what would be awful? Is if I got back to Maze... These security bots, I'm absolutely going to strangle. Who's behind me? Is it Chica? Yes, yeah, Chica, I think. I think? It's probably Chica. Chico, I keep telling you this. We can't... We can't. It's... Ever since you didn't block Freddy from the door back when we played Five Nights at Freddy's 1 many, many years ago for five months at Freddy's, um, and you always came after us ever since, uh, I had to get a restraining order, but this was, but then again, this, this was re original Chica, not Glamrock Chica, so, um, I guess, I guess, Technically, it's null and void, so I guess you're fine. Ben, Ben, do you mean the Zoidberg gets me as it makes you laugh, or is it like, finally, Zoidberg understands me? <laughs> From Futurama? <laughs> I, I may be sending Ben videos of me making Michael Myers do Fortnite emotes during the oh stream. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's why you buy skins in Fortnite, so you can make your friend's favorite characters do silly little dances. Okay, here we go again, running from like Monty. Like Alan Wake. Running from Monty, don't know where he's gonna... The thing I don't like about this boss fight is that Monty literally just leaps up into the scaffolding, and he will sometimes yeah, he just drop directly, like, three feet from you. Yeah, he does. See, like, there he is, right over there. He, he does what I like to refer to as doom fisting. Do oh, he does the seismic slam, I get it. Hi, Beck. Hey, buddy. Where is he? On my mattress. I was more talking about Monty, but thank you for telling me where Beck is. You're welcome. He's a good boy. Why, Gregory? It's out now, I think. Yeah. I heard it's good. It's really good. Yeah. Well then, dedicate. Do you want to Alan Wake and Oh, I have Alan Wake. Uh, you gotta make sure you don't end up in the dark place if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, oh, that looks so good. It's by, uh, it's by, I almost said the Ligma people. It's by the Limbo people. <laughs> <laughs> Ligma balls. <laughs> Ligma ball. And Monty Jeppy Beppo. Ja. And here we are, we're back at B Buka de Beppo. Buka de Beppo! That's a, <laughs> the VOD of this is gonna have a drinking game every time somebody brings the conversation back to Buka de Beppo. I mean, to be fair, we should have been timing. Monty, where did your bitch ass go? I don't know why, but that made my brain think of like, I could go get it. How oh, Jesus, there he is! Gregory, lift up them legs! It's time to put in your tape of glutes like Alan! Got them glutes like Alan. <laughs> <laughs> Got them glutes I have like no Alan. clue. I have no clue why you guys went <laughs> to like... Cause that's so, what, it, it, blank like blank, it's just the syllables matched. Yeah, I get it. And now I'm like trying to think, this, like, does Alan Wake have like toned ass thighs or some shit? I mean, he so, does so, run. So, uh... It's, 
So pretty much, yes, you've gotten the joke that I made years ago when I first showed my uh, roommate, Alan Wake, for the very first time. Uh, okay. I was, Lord knows what number playthrough it was for me, but eventually whenever I was running away from the Taken, I would always say, come on, Alan, move them glutes. You got that exercise tape to film for, glutes like Alan. And it's just been a thing ever since. Can I, can I say, by the way, I feel bad, because, like, Alan Wake 2, or Alan 2, or just Alan, um, because he and I are on a first-name basis, um, it, they, it is an amalgamation of every single game Remedy has done in terms of progress and learning mechanics and mas mastery. No. Uh, but I hate that, like forever and forever overlaying a video on top of the gameplay I'll be like it's that thing from control <laughs> I mean it's that's... the hotline I fucking mean, uh director I, I forget his name the first director used to call me on your toy phone oh Trent yeah how did I never make that joke when I stream bald control? Um, because we were on pending and we were pretty much checking out of that channel by then. Yeah. Nope, not gonna make that joke on air, even though she'd appreciate it, that still comes off as bad in my brain. That's valid. There is? I, I heard of a new RoboCop game. Huh. Not Terminator okay. Rising Revengeance? Hey, Monty. Go fuck yourself. Hey, Monty! Um, no, I'm not gonna say the joke that I have in mind because I, I don't know who's watching- I don't know who's reading JJK, and I don't want to spoil it for them. Get cute. <laughs> Why was I expecting a, like, Helldivers ripoff? For what? That's oh no, Gregory, your shoe textures. <laughs> uh, let's see. We also have another joke in your friend group where you call Bonnie, Bonnie Big Balls. And part of the joke that Bonnie decommissioned himself due to him swinging too hard and smashing himself. Ooh. Oof. Poor Bonnie. Well, He's gotta now be whenever I balls. see Bonnie, I'm just gonna hear the fucking song Big Balls by ACDC in my head. Good. Which, if you've never heard the song Big Balls by ACDC, right, 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 guys, please, guys, uh, when the stream You ready? Over. Yes. You ready to see Monty just vanish? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yep, there he goes. <laughs> and it's gone. <laughs> Okay, we got the claws. Um, now I gotta get the fuck out of here. Other way. So that means what's left? The voice box? No, we got the voice box because it had the blicky. Okay, and you got the eyes. Yep. So that means it's just time to go down to Aaron Yeager's dad's basement. Yeah. And then. Is every. Is everybody ex Yeah, I saw a TikTok today that was like, man, I wish I was excited for Attack on Titan, the final episode being an hour long, but I don't believe that's the final episode anymore. It's been the final season for the past three seasons. The final season, part three, part four, act five, act six. I'm sorry for the homestucks in the chat. You, that, that probably just upset you greatly by me saying <laughs> I'm, Welcome I'm gonna have... to Act 5, Act 6, Act 7 and a half, Interlude 3.5, the final chapter prologue. Confession, guys, I never watched, I never read home stuff. I did. I couldn't get in. I couldn't get I into it. I did after it ended. I just could never get into it. I don't know why. Just something about it just did not click with me. You know what my favorite parts of Homestuck were? When it ended? the music and the flashes, so basically just Undertale. <laughs> because most of Toby Fox's Homestuck songs ended up in Undertale. Yep. Except for the one M. Prague rock opera that ended up in a Pokemon game. What? Oh, can I... Can, I guess this is a fun stream topic. 
So, remember how Toby Fox did a song for Sword and Shield? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's basically the same song he wrote for the M. Prague rock opera that got him banned off the Home Stuck Forum. Um, called, like, He's the Father or something. Alright. That is so weird. But You're welcome. That, that also feels very Toby Fox, so I'm okay with it. Man, I hate these security bots. So do I. They suck. Fuck you. Hot God, damn, that's the best fashion. game, man. That's the best game ever. That is the video game of the of the century for all centuries. Oh, that's no. right. It's even better than Elden Ring. <laughs> Please note that I'm just shit posting. Uh, Alan Sweep, by the way, that is what I am chanting. I'm wow, wanting... this early in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you play for okay. like seven. Yes. Ooh, those frame drops. I saw that. One of the reviews that I heard said that the lamest moments in Alan Wake are like the ashtray maze in Control, which is an impressive thing to say. Isn't the ash? But I, I really like the ashtray maze. No, in they control, meant though. like the, they meant like the slowest moment is the best moment of Control. Wow! Now that is some praise. Uh, hold up. More chat. Uh, you're just imagining <clears throat> in the ending where no one gets smashed, all four animatronics go down to the sinkhole and start kicking the crap out of Bird Trap. Like, the, yeah! Like, the, oh, I love that scene from JoJo's Part 5. Where they jump the dude. Yeah. That's a good scene. Whatever happened to JoJo's? Isn't, like, the horse racing one next? Uh, yes. Uh, Steel Ball Run, I believe. Where we have to stop the President of the United States from getting all the parts of Jesus Christ. Yes, that's the actual plot. Yeah. Yep. That should be next. <laughs> you think? No. no, that's Nano Machine, son. All right, I, I um... love, by the way, that, like, swinging around in Spider-Man 2, I see, like, the Library of Congress, and I'm like, man, I remember when I fought the President on top of that. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. So now all we got to do is put Roxy Raceway. No, we've done that. <laughs> no, we have to go down to Roxy Raceway. I got to go down to Parts and Service. Freddy needs his new claws. Oh yeah. Freddy got to get his nails did. Yeah, he got to get his nails done. Yeah, he did. Now if only he could get his hair did too. Gregory, I'm a material girl. <laughs> Did someone must have saw that um, between the voices? Yeah, Freddy, we got a panel. But Gregory, I'm I'm Material Girl. <laughs> have you yeah, tried? This like, looks like a video game now. It does. It does. Well, mm, yes. <laughs> Most of the time. <laughs> I mean, and this is, once again, these criticisms are coming from someone who absolutely loves Security Breach for. All Same. of its flaws. It is not great. I will admit, this is not a great game. But, I still enjoy it for what it tries to be. Do I think we've been robbed for everything that we uh, lost out on? You know, yeah. based off of the uh, lost voice lines, the cut voice lines and everything? Absolutely. Especially on Vanessa's part. But other than that... I think the game is fine and does what it does best. It's Five Nights at Freddy's. You know what you signed up for. It's a fun time. I think time. I see a devious lick. Uh, it's already opened. Oh. But thank you, though. Thank you for keeping an eye out. Oh, um, I will announce this officially. Unless the 7 a.m. glitch happens, which let's hope it doesn't. We're going um, straight into ruin. Not only that, but we are we are going to platinum security breach. That is the playthrough. Wow. I'm going Before to platinum. Were you it. platinum Val in Wonderworld? God damn. Well, we'll, we'll see about that. Service. We'll see about that because when I have my full setup, I owe, um because of a roll. 
in um, something that Pilot and I are doing in a private server. Mm-hmm. Uh, I oh, I I begged for a good roll, and I said if I got a good roll, I will stream Balan three times in a row and do the Ichijo cut. I rolled a seventeen. So I have to, so, first streams when I'm back, three balance in a row, and then the Ichigo, and then the Ichijo cut. Well, after I settle down, of course. I want to do something else. So yeah, I, I'm, I was going to post it to you guys, but I'm not going to do it. I don't have a, I don't have a exclamation point balan. Oh, it hurt. Balan about to bust. Is it the only thing you're sad about in regards to the movie? There was no horror, 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 horror reference. To... Yeah, yeah. But just, don't worry, the audience, depending on where you watch, they got you. Way too much. Okay, Let's it's ready. Get so glad we saw that at Alamo. I'm very glad we saw that at Alamo. Have you all, all seen right. the TikTok trend that came out of the FNAF movie? Uh, which one? Where people are stealing entire fucking standees out of theaters? No. I keep seeing TikToks of like Gen Alpha and Zoomers like grabbing entire fucking standees and just hauling ass. This looks like. Hold on, hold on, sorry. These button prompts gave me like a uh, fucking Quantic Dream interface PTSD. <laughs> I can see it. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually take the headphones off for a bit so I can concentrate. Great job. <clears throat> Are you fucking ah, ah! If the prompt was up, it was fine. Do I have to wait for the stupid thing to stop talking? Yeah. yeah, which made me instantly go, okay, I'm about to see a jump scare. Oh, we should have done golf commentary when Ty wasn't talking. Well, you guys get oh, to well, do it. it's gonna you happen got, again. Yeah, you got a second chance to do it. <laughs> and here we see Ty Joe up to the butt. And he's going for the chippy tea. Here we go again with the chippy tea. <laughs> you know what, you know what, let's go back to Buka de Beppo, okay? I was gonna say... Welcome to the seventh annual Buka de Beppo Classic. For a minute there, I thought I, my stream was going you, it's, wonky. What if it's mediocre? What if I'm, I'm getting myself Buka to built up for this experience, and it's going to be awful? Um, I mean, try not to think about that. It, it's like my favorite line from Fanboys. What if it's bad? It's so actually it's it's cute. Um, for those who've never he heard of Fanboys, um, it is a comedy about a group of friends who are trying to break into the house of George Lucas so their friend with terminal cancer can watch Phantom Menace before he dies. That sounds like it could be wholesome. <clears throat> and like, I, I'm not, I'm not gonna like this is like loose. They get they don't get to see the movie, but they let the friends see it. Um, okay. And like he sees it, and then the ending is them like the rest of them sitting outside the theater on opening night, and then like one of them's like, "Hey guys, what if the movie isn't good?" And then it cuts to credits. Wow. The, the okay. only other thing I really remember about it, um, well, I remember a couple things. Danny Trejo's in it. Okay. All right. Uh, they all smoke peyote at one point. Go in silent, real quick. Okay. Um, and the other thing um, was that um, fucking Ray Park Jr. plays a security guard. Yeah, which isn't he also Dark Maul? Great. Now place the new armature right, so into the forearm have, casing. Uh, Ty and Joe, uh, doing the buttons. We'll do the buttons. With the new armature inserted, reconnect the right. colored wires. Yeah, the forearm casing has been removed. Is he furry enough? Is he ready for fun? Great job. Now close the casing. 
Good job. Now use the testing console to run diagnostics and complete Excellent the procedure. Job, now it's up to closing the casing. And now time for the other arm. Never mind. Uh, the robot took care of it for us. Now it is time to test the hands. Walking fast, paces fast, and they're homebound. Hopefully we don't Done. accidentally there set no Freddy and British, otherwise the on the other arm. our next objective will be to prepare for you. Chippy T. Okay, we're done. Get me out of this. No Chippy T for you guys. Sorry. Squid's tastefully to match golf commentary. Okay, yeah. Congratulations, with Monty's claws, you can now Monty's claws. Wow, I always wanted to Monty's claws. Montgomery. Montgomery Gator. Sucks, this stupid fucking bitch. <laughs> it's, it's his fault. That we don't have Bonnabelle Bunny. Yeah, we don't have Bonnie Big Balls. Fucking, I forgot about that already. <laughs> Him and his Boca de Testicles. Boca de Testicles. Boca de Testicles, sorry. <laughs> Man, that uh... lightning bolt on the floor looks terrible. <laughs> Just a bit. You can see. You can see the pixels. There you go. <clears throat> so uh, this stream, we're not going to go for any secret tapes. Uh, I don't feel like playing Tony Hawk right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> that, that, was, that was my impression of the uh, the Tony Hawk special noise. It was a good one. It was Thank good. Uh, all right. You know what, I'll do it. I'll do one. I'll try to get one for you guys. I think there's one in this atrium. I'm sorry. I just I'm just picturing fucking Freddy Fazbear doing a Christ air. <laughs> All right, we got to wait for Roxy Which to leave. Which then reminded me of the fucking even flow Christ air memes on TikTok. Hey <laughs> man, all right, we got. I got. I got one secret tape for you guys, just Damn. for y'all. <laughs> you make fun of even flow, but all I'm thinking of is the chili pepper song. <laughs> no. Okay. Bob Marley. I'm just laughing. What a little wiener. Bob Marley has got a little wiener. I want to see them live. <laughs> Um, what, uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers? Yes. Oh, man, I would love to see them live. Well, you know what they say, if you don't, like, if you can't make it, if you ever can't make it to the concert, give it away, give it away, give it away now. Hey. By the way, damn you, Spider-Man 2, because now I'm listening to Seabird, <laughs> and I'm getting sad every time. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. See, I the thought elephant? you were about to say now you're listening to Cage the Elephant. And I was like, what's wrong with Cage the Elephant? And there's nothing wrong with Cage the Elephant, but I'd be blaming Borderlands for that, not not Spider-Man. See, now okay. unfortunately, whenever... whenever right, I, hear I need to hear fucking, the story. Uh, oh yeah, go ahead. Please tell me the story. It's, okay. It's, it's, just, it's the it's, same it's, reason uh, Bayonetta is forbidden. Okay, that's valid. Going in for the kill. Hey, look on the bright side, um... Still. Like, look on the bright side, at least, um, you didn't work at GameStop when, uh, Borderlands 3 came out. Then you would have been hearing So Happy Together for, like, every oh. 15 minutes. See, I associate that song with Smash Bros. See, that is fine. But now, unfortunately, because I've heard it so many times, because I worked at GameStop, when Borderlands 3 was coming out. Um, that's what's in my head. Unfortunately, you replaced Smash Brothers, and that sucks, because that was a beloved childhood memory for me. 
I will always See, remember seeing that commercial. We, uh, go on. We talk about things that are forever associated with things they shouldn't be. I can't fucking listen to Listomania anymore without thinking about, like, someone getting beaten horrifically <gasps> and then the fucking Don't Nod credits pop up. <laughs> Hold on, wait, wait, wait. What, what game was this Life is Strange? Because that's Don't no, Nod, right? It, there, there, yeah, there was a TikTok that I posted. I don't know if you saw it, Ty, where it's like, don't nod games be like, and it's like you hear like this dude, he's like frowning, and he's wa clearly like he's faking like he's watching Life is Strange, and you hear like somebody getting horrifically assaulted, and then like yeah, I seen that the one. audio cuts, and you hear the opening notes to list of it. He's like, oh, oh, hold on, and he starts like bopping with it. <laughs> yep, I mean to be fair, that is that sums up. Um, Life is Strange pretty accurately, if you ask me. I never played True Colors. It's good. I would recommend it. Right, let me One read day. the chat. Uh, congratulations with Monty's Claws. You can now you can choose to divide Gregory in two. Wait, what? <laughs> it's what Cassie would want. It is what. It is absolutely what Cassie would want. Spoilers? I don't know. <laughs> to be fair, I mean... It, uh, just, Mm, not really. Also, somebody pointed out, uh, Michael's brother in the movie uh, was <laughs> totally wearing a crying child's outfit. Yep, that I knew. Ooh, just for you guys, you got two secret tapes this this stream. <laughs> I like how that was both just twice. That was just blasted into my ears. Every time y'all do it, just picture Freddy Fazbear doing a fucking Christ hair. Wait, I don't wanna. I don't wanna do this yet. I, I don't wanna find. Um, I don't wanna find Burn Trap yet. We didn't play golf. We gotta play golf. Mm. I'm not allowed to play golf. What did you yeah, do? Yeah, you cheat too much. <laughs> uh, uh. So what? Now please, you're just tell too busy combing story. your beard. Can you please? Can you please tell me the story behind that name? Oh, so my, uh, my PlayStation name actually uh, is uh, my name and Cheat's call. And um, way back in the day, I had a skateboard that uh, on the bottom of it that said, Mr. Rodney Mullen Cheat's That was my favorite board. Rodney Mullen is my favorite skater. And my mother wanted to say, well, you should make this here. I'm going the wrong way. Gamer tag. Your gamer tag. Yeah, that was it. That was it. Yeah. Um, and I was like, okay, cool. And I just ran with that for like 15 years. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Freddy. Me meanwhile, like today, I forget that I use my stream email for certain accounts. So I go into fucking Wingstop, and I'm like, hey, order for my real name. And then instead of saying, yeah, they go, I don't have that. I have an order for Bardeek. Bardeek? Ooh. Ooh, Bardeek. <laughs> uh, that's... Not Bardeek. <laughs> They're looking for Bardeek. As someone whose first name gets mispronounced a lot, because fun fact, uh, my name is not just Ty. That is actually a nickname, but I introduced myself as that name like it was but um <clears throat> i guess a lot of people would probably know or at least tell but i got my name mixed up for tyrell a lot mm. and i'm always like i was like okay where did the two extra l's where did the two l's come from <laughs> Not even like earn that paycheck Tyrese or something? No, no, not even that. Has he been in anything lately? Anything? Yeah. I... Yeah. All I know is that or... there is a Walking Dead character with that name, Tyrese, and he's dead in both comics and show. Let's see, Tyrese Gibson. Was apparently also a music artist. Yes. Huh. Would you, would you like uh, to know what the last thing Tyrese was probably in based off of his uh, little quip on the top of his Wikipedia article? Sure, go for it. Gibson had his first starring role in John Singleton's coming-of-age film, Baby Boy, then became appearing as Roman Pierce in Fast and Furious franchise. 
Gibson reunited with Singleton for the action film Four Brothers and plays Robert Epps in the Transformers franchise. He also appeared in the comedy film Ride Along 2 and appeared in the superhero film Morbius. Oh, no. So his career's dead, then. He was Simon Stroud. Uh, he got a little too fast and a little too furious. He was in Legion? Yeah. Yeah, did baby. you know there was a TV show sequel to that? Wait, what? What? TV show sequel so to what? So Legion, which is a pretty okay horror movie, uh, was followed up with a TV show on the Siffy Network. Was it good? Uh, I've never seen it. <laughs> I think it's oh, just called Legion. Let me check. Oh, I, I, I a got television some chapter series reading. titled <laughs> Dominion, set 25 years after the film. Huh. All right, I got some chat to read. Oh, so you know, you know about Ruin? Yes, we do know about Ruin. Um, then furthermore, the two big holes in Bonnie Ball and Ruin are also caused by body big balls when he drops them. <laughs> Legends have oh, it, yeah. you hear the sounds of bells when Bonnie approaches, too, from them clanging together. Oh my god. This is some wild lore. Uh, Tyrese has a couple things he's working in that are coming soon, uh, such as Hard Matter, the film April 29th, 1992, Helen's Dead, and Bloodline Killer. Huh. Nineteen ninety two, formerly titled Clash. Oh, it's about the LA riots. Oh. Betty. Where are you, buddy? He stars as a character named Mercer. Ah. Alex Mercer. I hate proto from, I'm from sorry. Prototype? I, yeah, and I hate that I even said his fucking name. I I did not care for prototype one after I beat it. Alex Mercer's iconic hoodie. Look, I will say, dude's got the drip. See, Move. whenever I think, and this this might be a fault of the design, his little sword arm just makes me think of Nightmare from Soul Calibur. I mean, yes. Freddy, I'm trying to play golf, man. Please don't get in the way. Yo, whatever happened to Soul Calibur? Uh, we haven't had a new game since six. Wait, was there six? Yes, it was. Yeah, that was the one with the uh, 2B. Yeah. 2B um, Big Balls. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I forgot that was I... another one of the Geralt Hates Falling Out of Portals games. So, fun fact, Geralt was my main when I played that game, uh, when I played SoCal 6's beta, and I made many people rage quit. People so did not Cal like People did not like me playing Geralt in this game. Not seen since 2018. <clears throat> uh, Soul Cow? Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> no, Morbius 2022. Nope, get me out. I. I, I watched. <laughs> um. Chat says to oh yeah you I, I I see you read it. Two be big balls. Body has a sibling. Yep, it's now canon. The Tai Ichijo streams where things become canon when whether you want them to or not. Oh no! Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, even Matthew Perry died. Matt Perry died. Matthew Perry died. From Friends? Yes. That was Chandler, right? He drowned. What? He drowned? Uh, more famously known as Benny in Fallout New Vegas. I did not know he, he voiced Benny in that game. Man, that a sucks.
<laughs> that was the sound of body big balls. Walking down the hall. <laughs> Uh, we got another hole in run. We got another hole in one coming up. Yeah. That hit, that hit me right in the boogie to Beppo. <laughs> Drowned. Man, that is sad. That sucks. Chandler was my favorite I will character. I always remember. Benny was my favorite character to sleep with, and then murder. <laughs> that was a real record scratch moment for us. Yeah, because you both had to sit there and re remember the fact that, like... <laughs> every playthrough, that's how I do it. But you know what? what's it, actually a verbal tick I hate so much? A ver no, uh, a verbal, t <laughs> a verbal tick that I hate so much, with um, from myself is that for some reason every now and again, <laughs> I guess venom just takes over my body because sometimes I say we and us, but I'm just talking about my damn self. <laughs> See, when you said venom takes over your body, I'm like the Eminem song. <laughs> I forgot it. I forgot. <laughs> God damn it. I mean, to be fair, Walmart made the marketing even worse. Did I send y'all the TikTok uh, about the Venom symbiote where they're like, you know, I have a, a hunch here the symbiotes aren't evil, it's just kind of like pit bulls where there are people who aren't meant to have symbiotes. I believe it. Wow, well, and I, I, I screwed up twice and I still got par. They, they made a very good point how, like, there, there are people who are good symbiote owners, and they guide the symbiotes really well, and then you have fucking no. Cletus Cassidy. Stop. No. But Eddie, Eddie Brock is an interesting character. Man, now I'm remembering the one time we were playing Fortnite, and you didn't, and somehow the audio cut off just as you said Eddie, <laughs> just as you got sniped. You were Eddie. <laughs> we are a boat now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, for some reason that's probably a verbal tick I hate for me so much because like mm. randomly just I grow 19 inches and. Um, I, <laughs> I get the voice of Tony Todd. Randomly, you're like, Peter, I can say the gamer word now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let me just state for a fact that I am a person of color, so I'm the only one in this chat who can say the <laughs> I, I would not. I would I know, not. I know, I know. I know. <laughs> Were you... Peter! Peter! <laughs> No! Oh. Peter, I can say the end word now. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Come on, baby, Enraged get in the hole. Child. Give me my trophy. <laughs> Under par. Let's go. Awesome! I reached a new uh, my trophy level went up. I guess Meow. I don't know what that didn't do anything. <laughs> All right, let's go. We played golf. For a second, I was I didn't think that was Freddy, and I thought you came out of Gator Golf, and Monty was just there waiting to fucking eat your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I just go there like my life is complete, Monty. You can take me now. We are a boat now. Are Gregory? 
I'm, I, I just hate. They should not have cast the Tony Todd as Venom because now I'm going to be disappointed so for every. Though. No, no, hear me out. Hear me out. I wish they didn't cast Tony Todd as Venom because now every Venom that's not Tony Todd, I'm going to think this isn't good. <laughs> Gregory, it was we are too... horror, 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 horror. <laughs> There's, there is a reason. Like there, there is a reason why it, it's good. It, it's for example, the best way I can put it is, it's like I can't picture anyone voicing Scott Pilgrim other than Michael Sarah. Okay, yeah. that makes sense. When you have the perfect cast, you kind of just don't deviate from that. Now I'm sure there's Unless tons they die of or some shit. Well, yes, that's the only exception. Um, that's the reason why, as much as I love Kev, uh, Kevin Conroy, I will never hear his Batman again in something new. But he is the perfect Batman. Like how my favorite um, Tales from the Hood narrator is Keith David. Um, Keith David Welcome also. Welcome to hell, was... motherfucker! <laughs> Uh, Keith David was also Spawn, right? Yes, I went a little circus of values on that laugh. I'd like to apologize to everybody. You did, it was fine. <clears throat> Man, I gotta finish that game one day, huh? Oh my god, still Yeah, because I got to where I thought the end was, and Bioshocks reminded me that, like, no, wait, there's, like, a third left. And I was like, oh yeah, there's, like, a third left. Are you ever going to finish Bioshock on stream? <clears throat> Maybe. I mean, no one's gonna blame me if you just stop and go to two. You did it with Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. I finished Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. Yeah, just like how we finished uh, those two movies. Yeah. One of them we did finish, though. Unfortunately. Well, we actually didn't watch one of the movies. We didn't. Wait, did we? No, I don't remember. Coded. Okay, we just kept recoded, which, <clears throat> unfortunately, that means, which what? is, <laughs> because it had the best line in the entire Kingdom Hearts franchise. Mickey, it's Riku. They put bugs in him. What? Was that really what Mickey said after? Yes. He literally just goes, what? <laughs> Hi, Springtrap. We're going to... Uh, we're going to visit you. <laughs> Mikey! It's Freddy! They put kids in him! Oh, God. Gregory! I don't know if it's so good. Gregory, I feel <laughs> <No>. off. <laughs> Not the Gregory, I don't feel so good. <laughs> Gregory, I threw up. No, I'm just picturing fucking Tony Stank, but it's Freddy Fazbear. God, Tony Stank. Or no, it was Iron Man, or not, not Iron Man, Spider-Man was the one who didn't feel so good. Yeah, Spider-Man was the one who didn't. No, it was Tony Stank. It was both of them. It was Was he one of the people who Secret got Secret Invasion dusted? sure was a show that aired on Disney+. Plus. What? I said, Secret Invasion sure was a show that aired on Disney+. Plus. Yep, and I didn't watch it. <laughs> For those I, I need who... to watch... Well, no, I don't need to watch Loki Season 2, Solidarity and all that shit. Eventually I'll watch it. Is it for Solidarity out of the strike, or Solidarity because they use fucking AI for their poster? Did they use AI for the Loki poster? They, they used AI for the Loki poster. See, I was more, like, strike because Bob Iger's a son of a bitch. Valid. That is valid. Gregory, would you like to talk about our lord and savior, Mr. Afton? Literally what? fucking crying, or golden child in the, the movies. Freddy upgrade! A frumpgrade? <laughs> oh my god, not the Carl Weezer. Okay, I gotta get out of Freddy until I got it. Until I got another. I gotta get out of Freddy. 
I know, yes, you can I hit me with the- I thought you wanted to be inside of him. I, oh my god, I hate my life. This is- this is worse than the time I once said, I gotta get my hands on that Batman. Mm. This is this is see, worse. See, you than know, that. you know what? You, you say that. You know where my brain goes? Where? It goes to those fucking memes of Mark Hamill Joker calling places and saying really stupid shit, like "Hello, Little Caesars, I'd like one order of normal bread, please." Are you talking about the the Joker edit? Yeah. What the yeah. fu- Roxy really just running past you there! <laughs> oh, so, so, okay, okay, it's be- so, I can explain why she ran past me. I got spotted by one of the security bots, and here's the thing. This is actually something I learned from Astral Spiff. When Roxy doesn't have her eyes, she doesn't teleport like the other animatronics. She actually runs to where you were spotted. So it's a really- oh. so that's- that's neat. Roxy really just running past like a character in Smash out here on the edge of the platform. That's what that animation looks like. Well, I'm going. I'm going back in Freddy. Have a nice day. Um, not Jimmy, not Trin. Apparently, and uh, my roommate pointed this out to me. And I, I don't know if it's offensive or not, but apparently I talk different whenever I talk to my boss at work. Um, how different are we talking? Apparently, whenever I talk to that person, I develop, in my roommate's words, a slight urban flow to my words. Like, I code Arbonne? switch a little bit. Oh, you speak no, in Arbonics? No, not even that. It's, it's not Arbonics. Apparently, just like my, my cadence and my sentence flow changes. And I don't do it consciously. I mean... I, uh, I have and I can't tell if I should, like, correct this, if it's offensive, or like... I mean... I'll say this... I wonder if I it's... developed it, like, dealing with the staff at the theater. It's possible. Because I had to, as a manager, do, like, a lot of, like, how do you do, fellow youth. Can I say? I don't think I should say what's on my mind, even though I am a person of color, so I would probably get I mean, call me out, please. No, you don't. Now, for all I know, I never caught it. And people would say I'm a black person who speaks whiter than mayonnaise. But even I... Oh? What? <laughs> First, very specific, but I cannot disagree. Because, like, there have been times... This is actually this is actually something my family on my birth father's side actually said to my mother. Um, they were upset by how I spoke, you know, without... How dare so, you? You know, without slurring my words or speaking in complete sentences. And they believe, and they straight up said to my mother, why you got Ty talking all white? Wow. Yeah. What's the, what's the fucking cat? Uh, whose white baby is this, I believe is the other one? Uh, well, I would say Cat Dennings. Who's Cat Dennings? The, the girl in Thor who calls the hammer meow meow. Okay. Alright, we're going yeah, down uh, to the basement. Pilot, I think it is like just subconscious code switching, but like... I'm wondering if I need to fix it. It's not- if it's not noticeable to me, it's fine. And if, if she's oh. not saying anything, I think it's fine. So, uh, hey guys, who's ready to go visit Peepaw Afton in the basement? The Mimic! Feudal Greed, most people unconsciously slightly mimic the accents around them. Remember all the shit Madonna got when she moved to England and people accused her of beating British. Oh yeah, I remember that. That's when she put that song out that was like, I want a chippy tea. I swear, if I, did not, 
All right, fine. After the stream's over, I am looking at what a chippy tea is. All right, because uh, I'll just me off. Ben, can you just send Ty both of those TikToks I sent you? I sent you two right. chippy tea unboxings because Thank I you. needed someone else to understand why I loathe them so much. All right, are we ready are we, we, to go to the basement? Yes, we are ready for chippy tea. Okay, that's that's just Afton's name now, Chippy T. Chippy T comes out of the suit like I always come I back. I mean, in fucking sister location, they did make him British Whoa. for some reason. Whoa, Freddy, where did you go? You disappeared. You vanished. I'm in a completely different elevator now. <laughs> no, no, pilot, because now I'm just thinking Chippy T is like British Boba. <laughs> Jason Statham? Okay. Um, Message oh. missed. Sorry. Gregory, why are you gregging over everything? You're making it all cringe. Oh no! Not Gregory! The pizza is aggressive! Oh, I'm sorry. We were, it's, Once again, we're not ignoring any chat or anything. It's just... It's... It's chaotic. It, it's... Not, I... Yeah. Also, I'm streaming directly from my PlayStation. Get out of my face, you ugly creature! Which Chippy T video was it? Is the one with the congealed fries or the one with Mrs. Lovett's meat pie? What is with this? What is with this fog machine? Yeah, that was the one thing I heard for this update. Is they like really cranked up the fog? I can't see! Don't forget to hit all the Dead by Daylight generators. That's what I'm trying! But I can't see because of this stupid fog machine. Uh, yeah, but sorry, Cooper, for the missed chats. Uh, you are comedic genius. I Go love away. both of those. Jimmy Nutrin referenced. Insert that one girl from K-On! She has, like, Jimmy Nutrin hair. Wait, what? There's a little... Alright, Phalanx... The cast of Kaon is all girls. You're going to need to be a little more specific than that. The, the one in the blank referenced meme, where she has, like, the hat, and usually people are like, blank referenced, and it has Kaon girl. Uh, you know, give me a hair color. Hold on, um... I, I'm just looking up the names, because I remember a few of them. Yui, it's Yui. Okay. I thought it was Yui, but, like... I can never be I only sure. remember three of them, which is Yui, Mugi, and Neo. You forgot Ritsu, then. That's right, Ritsu. Uh, w I'm guessing you just watched the one where he puts, like, an entire Mrs. Lovett's meat pie on it? Is that the one where he's like, nothing beats a chippy tea? I'm stuck. In Chippy T Hell? Yes, you are. Why are his eyes red? Uh, oh, are they aggressive during this segment? Yes. When you turn I on it. I don't remember that. That's new. Because it's new. That's why you don't remember it. It's new. Yo, they like actually added some gameplay to this part. So I guess you kind of have to like actually haul ass down in there then. Kinda, yes. That's unfortunate, because, like, that's, like, part of this is, like, sitting here and wojacking, going, Oh my god, it's the, 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 the pizza sim location. But it's okay. They despawn what you cross through there. <laughs> and yes, I actually showed the despawn. Oh my god. The things I noticed from the Switch version! Alright, okay, buddy. Hey, I can actually do this part right now. Because Freddy works, and the 7 a.m. glitch didn't happen. Anyways, alrighty, so let's take a look here. Yes, here we are at the uh, Pizzeria Simulator uh, location. Yep, there's the, uh, there's where you, there's the one of the stages, there's the best stage here. Uh, that is an arcade machine. We don't know whether it's Fruity Maze, Midnight Motorist, um... There's the hoops. There's hoops. That's a good way to get him some money. 
Uh, we got some arcade cabinets. You can't really play those. Uh, and yeah, that's, this is it. There's really not much to really look here. Uh, I'm going to recharge Freddy. Okay, uh, Gregory crosses the giant ent glass entrance, animatronic and those <laughs> screams and disappeared. Is it the one where, with like the smiley with his hands up in the air, and it goes, ah, because that's what I'm picturing it. All right, here we go with Freddy's speech. I am not memes. So, as I said, this part was broken for me. For so long. Unfortunately. Oh, no. My friends are it's here. It's everybody's favorite Wii U game. Da Blob. Da Blob. Nah, we, now we ain't gonna trash Da Blob here because Da Blob's actually pretty good. I've heard it's a good game. I just, that's what I associate with this. I know. Is it's that fun. Cupcake? Uh, no. That is Chica. Okay. All right, now we step on here. See, this is as far as you can get with the 7 a.m. glitch, even with Freddy. Rip. Yep, it just wouldn't go. That's right, and then Gregory's like, everybody out. Then you go in this room, and then the door opens, and it zooms Ugh. down the hallway. Oh, that dropped in my hot box. <laughs> Just fucking na 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 Yo, Freddy, you want some of this dang kush? All right. Uh, now here comes the game. We gotta find where he's where he's uh touching Freddy before he eats my face. Supposedly somebody finally figured out what you're supposed to do when Roxy charges the office. Yep, you're supposed to... I think you're supposed to scream at her. Yes. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so I'm supposed Mod to be... Mod this so that whenever you use the Chica scream, it's the Tony Hawk special noise. Oh hey, it's that rarely used mass of wires. It's seven times the weight of Freddy Fazbear. They're gonna die if they don't change their diet immediately. Freddy disappeared! Rip. Is he in the charging tube? No. I think he's... Wait. He's in this one, right. Hey, Freddy. Okay, so here's what makes no sense now. So this is the Mimic, right? Yeah. We all know this is the Mimic. What the fuck was Vanny doing with it? I don't know. It's Roxy. What do I do? The doors will not hold her, Gregory. Scream at her. <laughs> <laughs> what was that noise? It sounded like a bobby noise. No, Freddy, don't do this to me. Don't just kick me out. All right, I, let's see if this. Hold her, Gregory. Let's see if this still works. Yeah, this bitch can't see me. Thank you, pilot, for the ah. <laughs> yeah, go, go, pump. You know. <laughs> right. Him just waving at you while Roxy charges you to death. Freddy, you... Kill me. Freddy, Freddy really out here, like the fucking parent watching their kid play on the playground as the other child comes up behind like the goddamn <laughs> Undertaker with an actual shovel. They sent me back here. Let's just speed run it, fuck it. We're hauling ass. Roxy, door stuck, door stuck, please, I beg you. It's a shame that uh, Bonnie isn't used during this segment, you know why? Because Bonnie Big Balls? 
Make you put his balls in your jaw. Once again, if you have channel points, please do not use them. It's taking all my restraint. You'd be wasting your channel points. I'm trying Can to be. I? Can, Can I? Can I? Fail. Uh, so this is not a spoiler for the FNAF movie, but it's something that I'm glad wasn't in the FNAF movie. So there is a scene in the FNAF movie in which somebody dives in a ball pit, and I had the cursed thought like, oh no, what if the time-traveling ball pit is in this movie? Okay, I'm so glad I wasn't the only one who thought that! For those who don't know, mainly Ben. Uh, yes, there is a time-traveling ball pit! Yeah, that is, that is a thing. Okay, let's try this again. Yes, Freddy, I know, you it's... are not you. So I, I talked about this with Ty and with Pilot a bit as we were walking out of the theater. Um, Scott does this thing with the Extended Universe shit, where he likes to put in things that are, like, not retcons, but course corrections, where he'll, like, try to incept ideas that he failed to get across initially. But unfortunately, what this has done is created a weird fucked up dichotomy where every time there is a coincidence in any type, like, type of side project, you have to wonder, is this the author trying to get his intent across, or is he just in a silly, goofy mood? Okay, Roxy And there's so much of this movie where you're like, okay, Scott, are you trying to tell me something, or are you in a silly, goofy mood? Freddy, I swear scream. to God! Freddy, I hate you! I hate you! You suck! Is this a glitch? I don't know! Oh, oh fuck. you know what it is? Ty! You probably need to- he's- you're probably kicking- get kicked out because one of the monitors has fucking Willy on it and you have to burn him so you can actually use Freddy. Yeah, I probably realized that. But we'll see. You Go gotta ahead. use DPS. DPS! Really fucking slowly! Man, I'm like the only person here who understands that joke. Just put that in visual references. <clears throat> okay. That sounded like a TF2 joke. Nope, it's a wow meme. Wow. See, that's probably why I didn't get it, because I haven't played WoW. And this like, is like vanilla WoW. It's some guy's like mental breakdown as a raid leader animated. Chica is banned. Time traveling ball pit where Freddy actually attached the ball pit to the DeLorean from Back to the Future and went 88. You're not wrong. Shit. Apparently that was back in theaters this past week. Oh, was it? Yeah. Which, by the way, if anybody is trying to see the Eras concert tour and doesn't want to pay $21, uh, apparently on Tuesday it will be $13.13 .13 per ticket. Interesting. Still can't use passes. Ew. Yeah. No, Monty, I'm not letting you in. Part of me wonders if, like, there's a movie theater in this country where the screaming Swifties and the meme screaming FNAF fans have been, like, a, like, perfect hurricane where, like, you're in the middle Excuse of the showing of me? fucking Freddy Fazbear. Um, is the tentacle... Just... Is the oh, tentacle... Oh, yeah, the blob also attacks you. Hey, when did this shit happen? That's been in here for a while. Oh, it also shit. could be that October 23rd is the, the date they go back to, if I recall. I believe you're correct. Or it's the 28th. Ah, oh, fuck. You know what? October 23rd is the day the bombs fall and fall out. That's why I remember that. How... How do you do this? Uh, burn Willie. 
Well, I've, I've been trying to do that, but he's going to be blocked. Uh, Cooper says Freddy can get rid of the hentai by walking over it. Oh, thank you. Freddy's really like, this is a family-friendly channel. Wait a minute there, I thought the that was wrong. all like, ow. Go away. Does Monty come in this at all? Yes, but I stopped paying attention to the vent and now I'm fucked. That's pretty sus. Freddy comes with the parental control. Yep, Monty's coming. You bitch. We'll see. Hey, uh... Yep, he's here. He's not gonna leave. I wonder if that one band that they used for an 80s song in uh, FNAF is now experiencing their massive Spotify boost. Well, GG's. Monty ate my, ate my guts. Or not. Rip. Nope, never mind. <gasps> yes! Camera cancel! And I didn't have a car! And I didn't have a charge! Shut up, bot! You know, I had actually forgotten that game had existed. Thank you for reminding me. Uh -huh. Hey, do you guys think Dr. Latrec could survive Five Nights at Freddy's and figure out the man behind the slaughter? No. <laughs> Just sorry, give me Blob, but you're not allowed to be at this sus establishment. This might be GG's. He really is just Balloon Boy. Once he's in, he's in. Yep. I don't know why I did this because he's gonna. I'm gonna get out of Freddy again. Nope. Holy shit. I will always remember that, like, when this game came out, people were hard simping for Monty, and then Ruin came out, and everybody's like, This your man? <laughs> I love that one. This your man? Yeah, that's him. That's mine. <laughs> Just chewing on the bars. People have been hard simping for Roxy for a long time. Yeah, he is oh, just kind of chilling there. He's just gonna stay there. He's got a peek on. No, no, Monty. No, stay over there. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So nice to see that this area still works. Just sitting here, and you're like, Monty, what's up? And he's like, I'll have two number nines, a number nine, a nine large, large, a number six <laughs> number with six. extra dip, a number seven, two number forty fives, one with cheese, and a large soda. Willie, I'm gonna need you to fucking die. What the hell? I pressed that button. Uh, he's dead. <laughs> Cooper, if it makes you feel any better, my roommate loves Chica. Chica's her favorite. Yeah, she was very sad when I cr when I shattered her. Are you good? Okay. How many times do I gotta burn Willie like, Willie Afton's ass until he until he leaves? Which is funny because like my parents got my roommate's dog a little alligator to chew on, and I call it Monty. And every time Cody goes from like, yeah, Cody, you fuck Monty up. <laughs> Like, this can't be... Like, this is, feels like it's going on too long. I'll tell you what. I'll fix this for you, Ty. There you go. I'm not... I, I, so, here's a catch. I'm not doing any of those. I'll refund you later. No! <laughs> I was like, this isn't a sound alert. <laughs> I was not going to do any voice-changing things for this entire time. No voice changey stuff in card. Damn it! I couldn't switch. I the mean, camera you know time. the one that I would never do because it would create a nuclear disaster. 
Yeah, even though someone hasn't had it as a redeem as a redemption in a while. Don't think I, I haven't noticed. You have not had it as a redemption for a while. I probably turned it off because I was doing something specific and then forgot to turn it back on. That is most likely the case. Tr trust me, I didn't think you were trying to get out of it. I was just making a little ha ha, don't think I didn't notice. I can't see. Chica is a solid girl. It's the same she scrams on trash. Go to sleep. Gregory? <clears throat> Capcom said they're currently preparing an unannounced major title to be released in the current fiscal year. They said they'll announce it when the time is right. Ah, uh, yes. Street Fighter 7 time already. Ah, uh, yes. Devil May Cry 8. What happened to 6 through 7? Oh, uh, sorry. Resident Evil 5 R. We got rid of the racism. The R no longer stands for racism. <laughs> Yeah, well, what is... Oh, okay. I guess <laughs> you have to cut, like, the entire oil field from that game. Yeah. Probably, yeah. Devil May Cry X FNAF, I'd love that. I would play Devil May Cry FNAF. I mean, Monty would be like, I need more power. Yeah. I am the gator that's approaching. From the vent. <sighs> okay, here we go again. Try to think. Well, we, we know it's not Dino Crisis. Yeah. What was that? Especially after sure as hell Mega Band. Yeah. I'm sad. You know, unless it's Legends Collection. Because it's right there, Mega Man Legendary Collection. So, some what kind of Castlevania? Thing? No. I don't know. It's, it's gonna be fucking Project Cross Zone. I liked Project Cross Zone. I like Project Cross Zone. Damn. It is a fun game. However, my eyes were open to the truth, which is the same thing can be achieved just by looking up all the cool attacks on game, like YouTube. I mean, true. But I'm here for the character interaction, man. Obviously, it's a new Phoenix Wright game. Roxy. What do we God, do? I wish. Okay, and which Roxy, we will find out. Yeah. Can Phoenix, in fact, survive Five Nights at Freddy's and figure out the man behind the slaughter? Uh, I Homies, think did I send you that? So there's, there's a meme that's like four quadrants, and the original one is like, could figure out how the Death Note works, could not do that, and that it's like, could solve the Death Note case, couldn't figure out who Kira was. And someone else did one that's like, could figure out the man behind the slaughter, could survive Five Nights at Freddy's. Where is... I'll send that your way. Where is the button? Where are the key bind bindings for me to find out how to scream? I guess it is R2, because... She... Roxy, leave! Uh, yeah, I can see Chuck with the Yeah. What, Chuck Green? Uh, uh... Okay, I think Roxy left. Also, the thing on the Death Note one that you guys were arguing, uh, Ty, uh, Detective York couldn't, but Detective Francis York could. He said Detective Francis York? Like, the good one could definitely do it, the other one could not. Both of them are good, though. Yeah, that's true. They're both the same person. Oh, shit. Yes. My favorite, another good one, uh... Could survive Five Nights at Freddy's. Isaac Clark could not determine <laughs> the man behind the slaughter. Isaac Clark. Jesus, Freddy, don't scare me like that, man. Also, I would argue that Alan Wake could because he would be the one who wrote it into existence. Yes. Yes, please leave, Roxy. You uh, just just do your may may strut out of here. 
Yeah. Ethan could not would not be able to figure it out. Wait, is this the Tira one or the Five Nights at Freddy's one? This is the Freddy's one. Okay. I like how Detective Hoffman could, but I think there's literally another picture of Hoffman that says he couldn't. If I recall. William, where are you? You're on this monitor. Alright. No, that's not Hoffman. Oh, that's the dude who's stuck on the Oh, oh, fucking Strom. Strom. Yeah. Also, I disagree. Um, Will Graham could definitely figure out who was the man behind the slaughter. Freddy! Because that is definitely Will Graham next to uh, Father John. But I also agree that Father John could not determine the man behind the slaughter and could not survive Five Nights at Freddy's. <sighs> to quote Wendigoon, and if anything touches John, he dies. <laughs> yes. Also the brother from fucking Hereditary. The Jewish kid from IT! That's very specific. I mean, I could just say Stan. Uh, Dead by Daylight. Yeah. Banned from the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Yay! Here we go again, because, um, I don't know. This, I'm getting sick of this fight. I, you know I, what? I don't think Leon S. Kennedy could determine the man behind the slaughter. No, of course he couldn't. He would need Ada's help to do it. But they have him there in Yes. I mean... I guess it depends on which... Think, I don't think Chris Redfield... I think he could survive. I don't think he could figure out it's yeah, William. He's... Yeah, he'll be able to survive what easy. Are you okay? This is just RE bias by the person who made this. Yeah. I think the only one who would probably be able to figure it out and survive is, is Joe. Thing? Yeah. You know what, Claire? Claire journalism. Yep. You're right. You got a point there. And here comes Chief as she's walking down the hall. Now I'm imagining the fucking scene where the no. informant gets killed by Mr. X, but it's just a fucking, like, Freddy Fazbear fist come through the wall. It's Roxy! What do I do? Are you looking at the Death Note one now? <laughs> also, I'm just I'm I'm gonna carefully spoiler guard this. <clears throat> um. Persona 4 Detective, absolutely, I think, could solve the cure case and intuit how the Death Note works. All the detectives can figure it out. Yeah. All the Persona Detectives can figure it out easy. Pre-Awakening Naoto might not be able to. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like that they have fucking Hercule Poirot there. I think already, if not Tuesday. Let me just look up here. Oh, excellent. We are, uh, we're making people have to feel the burn. And now I got a. Go away, block. 
Where are the why, pizzeria why now? Why is it working? Uh, if okay. he's not letting you in, that means Afton's DPSing Freddy. No, because Freddy ran out of power and ran into the charge. But... Who the fuck's coming by? DMC ah, five fuck, DLC, it's Monty, which he's in. the four glam rocks. That'd be nice. I noticed Monty a little too late. You can do it. Just gotta loop him now. The loops. The loops. The loops is on fire. We don't need no water. Go on. <laughs> No. <laughs> but NBA Jam's like really good. <clears throat> Probably my favorite basketball, um, arcade basketball game. No, you're That's banned. That's like how anytime somebody loses their head, I only hear, where's your head at? <laughs> where's your head at? Where's your head at? Freddy's not like freaking out, is he? Okay, he's no. not. There, now it's that also he's like right in the thanks corner. To, thanks to Faf9, anytime I see a hung corpse, I go, Hey, Sayuri cosplay! <laughs> you gently open the door. I believe the term is hanging corpse. I believe it's referred to as a Logan Paul. Not a Logan Paul. So, do I just do this forever? Yes. How many times do I have to hit this button to burn Afton? Um... You want me to look it up? Yeah, please do. Because Monty's in here forever, and he's going to just be all stumpy. What? I'm like, I'm like we, I will end this stream right now, because fuck that. Just God. Hey, Freddy, you you, you dugging yet? <laughs> well, he looks at me, and I look at him, and he looks at me, and I look uh, at him. Good. Fight will begin. Fight. Press the button. Press the button. If he successfully is Freddy, he'll corrupt you. Okay. Um. Okay, I pressed the button again. I don't have just... an answer. So I guess I just press buttons until the game says you win. Congratulations. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> uh, I wish, uh, but we do get the only rendered cutscene in the entire game, which is why everyone thought it was the true ending until Ruin said otherwise. <laughs> okay, Freddy, you're gonna start burning now? I just wish pressing the buttons wasn't so precise. But yeah, uh, I would play a combo. Oh shit, he's 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 dugging. Fuck, where'd he go? Oh shit. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh. Yeah. They sneak Freddy's body blocking. 
Man, it would really suck is like once someone's in the office, if if Monty's in, you're just forever stuck. But um I guess not. I just feel like this boss battle just doesn't need to be this long in my opinion. It it should have been like it should have been rule of 3. It would have been like, well, technically rule of 4. First burn Oh look, it's Chica. First and like second burn. Oh look, it's Roxy. Third burn. Oh no, it's Monty. He's coming to he's coming to eat my sins. Yep. Yes! I did it! It's over! Ah, <laughs> uh, and I Uh, GG's. See you. See you in the second movie. What did I miss? Uh, I beat it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're gonna redo it now so I can see it, right? No, fuck you. <laughs> you can watch the VOD. <laughs> Love you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> but if it makes you feel better, I broke Monty's non-existent ankles multiple times until the cutscene popped up. That's uh, good. Hold up. Y'all talk so much yourself. I got a phone call to take. Uh, Mocap guy love. Shout out to uh, Chris Cromery, the technical animator. How about J Top Top Slosky? Good old Travis O'Connor. Shout out to, uh, I, I misread their name as Seppuku. Not even gonna, not even gonna read that one out. Good old Dovin and Renneker. No, not Chase Wiener. Celeste de Dios. Good old Daniello Pinhead. <clears throat> Rodrigo Dutra. Shout out to uh, Buka de Beppo on the lighting. Mm. Mm. Yeah, and even more to fix it. I feel bad for Steel Wool. Um, it, it was a, it was a double prong thing. The game was rushed out before it was done because Sony wanted it out, because they put a lot of money into it. And I also think just as a smaller studio, they just bit off more than they could chew. And then we have Kong. Yeah. In memory of our friend, Mark Hoffman. <laughs> yeah. The end. Yes, and they don't tell you what happened, and then you play Ruin, and the entirety of Ruin, you're like, so which ending was canon? And then the devs shrug at you and go, All of them? So that's the thing, like, all the other endings are done out in comic books, and they kind of give you a little bit of, like, what happened. And then the, uh, 
the, the, the true end, or what we thought was the true end, um, you get that little JPEG. And then you play Ruin, and they're like, play Help Wanted 2. Alan. I, I finished Spiderman. That was that was a game. Uh, I have to go back to Cyberpunk. I actually haven't gotten another ending since the one I did on stream. Um, I, I put a little more time into Phantom Liberty. Um, excellent. Still fucking excellent. Idris Elba does not disappoint. Yeah. God damn it. The game is fixed. I, I, I don't know what it was supposed to be. Yeah. I like merged him, a pirate, and Jason Statham into one being. Me fucking pumper! Yeah. Good in. I started it, and I, I have to pick up from where I left off. Yeah, I've heard it's dubiously canon, is the thing, unfortunately. Kind of like how Max Payne is dubiously canon. Where basically any time you hear Max Payne, just white over it and be like, Alex Casey. Yeah, so the th with the little bit that I am into AW2, um, I am happy that Detective Saga, or is it Story? Saga. Um, has already been like, it sure is funny how he shares a name with Alex Casey, the book character. What a coincidence, whore, 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 whore. <laughs> Alright, um, I'm back. Uh, so... What were our thoughts on Security Breach, now that we've gotten the Peepaw ending? You sure got a JPEG. Yep. I did get it. I did indeed get a JPEG. I um, was explaining to uh, Ben how, and then you play Ruin, and you're like, which canon, which ending's canon? And the devs are like, all of them? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're pretty much just all of them. Yeah, it was a fun yeah. time. And you know what the the best thing is? What? In the DLC, it's impossible to get lost. Yep, it's all linear. It's basically a hallway. Okay, so um, I think I should start wrapping up stream. I wanted to just get that ending out of the way. Um, also, because um, family is on the way home or on the way to the old cardboard box themselves so got to be prepared to help people inside and all that and i need to eat more food than just chicken nuggets. enjoy your bagel bites yeah absolutely stuff with the cream cheese and everything uh oh right tell me about the scooped bagel because i think i saw that tiktok okay so some motherfucker from la so listen you, if you can't eat gluten I respect that. Like, I have relatives with celiacs. I get it. You know, you go to New York and you order a gluten-free bagel. That's fine. Like, obviously, like, dietary restrictions and shit. But this guy goes into a bagelry in New York and is like, I need a gluten-free bagel with cream cheese, and I want it scooped. And what that basically means, it's like an L.A. diet thing, is you want them to scoop the flesh out of the bagel. Just... Eat half the bagel. Like At that any point, other get a cracker with cream cheese on it. Yep. It's okay. Faf said that word. What cracker? <laughs> yeah, because you know Twitch and its weird weirdness. Oh God, I forgot. I can't say that. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. 
It's fine. We're talking about the delicious breaded food snack Twitch. Get a wheat thin with cream cheese on it at that point. Not the wheat thin, not the... Mm. Will wheat thin. Uh... Move. I forgot he, I forgot he was on Star Trek. Do they sell a stuffed Moopsie? I don't know. If they uh, don't, they will. Yeah, if they don't, they will, and if they won't, Etsy. Well, that was quick. Here's a what? bootleg one on Amazon. Oh, well, yeah, there we go. Get it with your chocolate covered Orangs. Mm. All right, um, anything, uh, I think, so here's going to be the plan for the next Security Breach streams in the future, because who knows when it'll be, but um, I think before we get the other endings in Security Breach, we go through Ruin. Oh, it makes sense to me. And then after we're done with Ruin, we go back and do... And, you know, for the fun of it all, we're going to play Ruin and get all three of those endings. We're going to get the normal ending, we're going to get the Brazil ending, and then we're going to get um, the true ending. All Not all in that order, especially since I can't do the true ending if... Otherwise, if I do the stuff for the true ending, I'm going to get locked out of the normal ending here out. Yes, audience, it is actually called the Brazil ending. Yes, it is. It, yep, it's actually called the Brazil ending because it is actually a nod to the movie Brazil. Because apparently some, uh, apparently some people in Steel Wall are very big fans of that movie. Yeah, and apparently the Brazil ending is the go-to ending for speedrunners because it's the fastest ending to reach. But, um, so yeah, not necessarily in order, but I guess what I would say <laughs> is we'll probably get Brazil ending because it's literally on the way. Then we'll get the normal ending, and then we'll chapter hop to all the appropriate cameras to open up the secret location to get the third ending. The scooper ending. Makes sense to me. And then, depending on how long that takes us, because Staff took 10 hours to play this game? It was 10 hours for his Ruin playthrough, or was it 5? It was 5. Okay. Uh, and that wasn't even all endings, I think. But, um, 3... So, yeah. <sighs> we will... Ruin might be a twofer for us. Or we can do it in one. We'll see. We'll see how we feel when I'm there. Uh, I'll probably won't do Security Breach until... Well, either we'll see how I feel throughout November. We'll see how I feel towards the end of December. Where I may do another uh, New Year's FNAF stream. Hell yeah. But there will be more cardboard box streams because this was fun. It's nice to be back to doing something normal in my life after a rather abnormal year for me. And I don't know, maybe next time I'll play some Sonic. I got Sonic Superstars over there. I got Sonic Origins Plus. People say that's bad, so maybe I'll try that. Uh, I'm not going to do Final Horizon until, I'm, until I have my full setup. I want my full setup for that. It deserves my full setup after what I experienced. Who knows, maybe by the time I get to it, that final trial will be patched to not be as bullshit. We'll see. Anyways, uh, uh, thank you both for joining me for more FNAF. Thank you. Uh, thank you for uh, teaching me about the wonders of Buca de Beppo. Buca de Beppo. Uh, and everyone that dropped by in chat, I appreciate you as well. You made this stream as fun as it can be. I will be back. Definitely thank you guys for doing it. Oh, absolutely. C can, I, can I share a roast before we break stream? Going ahead. 
so Bloober team tweeted out a congrats to uh, Remedy for Alan Wake 2, and they pasted the pro tag from the medium onto the image, and somebody quote tweeted this with, 